Hello there, you beautiful, beautiful, beautiful people, and welcome to my stream. I'm Mickey Mac, and today we're going to be doing some Star Revenge 6.25. Uh, so this is going to be one of the biggest RAM hacks I have. I am going to ever, ever, ever play. It's 216 stars. To finish the whole game this is this might take me three streams in like in contrary to like two or uh, i usually do like three whole streams three six hour streams to be able to finish this entire thing this is gonna be insane and i want to go through the entirety of it a hundred percent of it so yeah this is gonna be very very interesting you play this one joe so how d what did you think of it like without without any spoilers or anything like how how did you what did you think of it? Thank you for so much for playing my black. <laughs> oh. oh, it is indeed Luigi, huh? It is indeed Luigi. <laughs> hey, Luigi! I went off to that so-called the cake con. I got an invitation, and they said they were going to show a spaghetti cake, and I was going to be the first one not to taste it. Yeah. <laughs> Star Revenge 6.25, Luigi's Adventure DX, a SM64 hack made by Bro Dudes. Original game by Nintendo, most custom coding by, done by Egglab 2. Check the text file for more info. Dang it, you can't do that with the... the <laughs> you can't do that with the... Whatchamacallit, the parallel launcher. Hmm. Okay. What's on the screen? What is on the screen? <laughs> You've been gnomed! <laughs> oh, that is perfect. <laughs> I need, I need, I need to find a gnome. Oh, it's an oven, but the the things don't don't hurt you. Come on, you had this right on on Star Adventure 4.5. Why not now? Wait, where is this? Oh, okay. For some reason, for some reason, I thought you were like it was just eating like a piece of bacon or something. <laughs> oh no, Mario. Wait, wait, are you are you supposed to be Luigi or some Echo Mario? That doesn't matter. You, you've got to help us. Mario vanished, and Bowser is causing trouble. He found some old museum-like castle in the forest, and now plans to attack. Help! 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 Yeah. Hey there. On your adventure, you are going to find a lot of these signs. They give you hints for where stuff is at or where you need it for. You can talk quote-unquote, to the signs here to get more information out of them. Also, you can get a star here for 80 coins. Consider using star display to you know where you missed star while exploring. All levels have 8 stars in them. And remember, you will keep going after collecting a star. So this is a nom an, some sort of open world game, I would say then. That's going to be interesting. Direction, direction sign. Uh, I don't think I need to tell you much about me. I'll point out where you can or should go. Okay. Use sign. If you see a fully filled in box, that means you need to use the cap of this box to advance. You may also see other stuff like shells on me. Get ear sign. If you see an outlined box, that means you'll find a cap box, shell or what's over here, or the path I am on. Combo sign. If you need, if you see something like me, you need both of the items to move on. I am also show up in bigger and a plus on me. It's the same thing then. The new sign. Wow. 
Whatever is, whatever is cross, whatever is crossed out is what you aren't supposed to use here or just can't use. It's to prevent you from trying to do the usual stupid stuff. That's fair enough. Combo sign. I'll show you in which direction you can find or use stuff. Depends on what's on me. Okay. And this is like the the level, of the, the 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 level the yeah the, okay. From there on, if a path splits up and it will lead only to one star, I'll be placed there. I can also just be placed in the general area of a star. My number corresponds to a star number, not the amount of stars. Also, keep in mind, star 8 in almost all levels is for 80 coins. Star 7 is locked behind the yellow cap switch. The yellow cap... Wait, 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 wait. I, thi I think... Explaining what the yellow cap is would have been a better thing to do. Also, fronks. I love seeing the fronks. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, ah. Apparently, my wahoing was not powerful enough. I thought I could do anything. So I became wahoo. Sounds like Wario Cap? That would be great. Like, people picture Wario as the, the big fat dude that can't do anything, but... In the Wario Land games, he has, like, so many abilities. Whoa. I wonder if this is, like, level 1 or anything. This feels like it, but not sure. Oh, oh, uh... Well, that's a free stop. Gotcha! Okay, so this is... Is this overworld? Is this... Okay, this is a side course, apparently, and there's eight... There's eight stars here as well, so this is going to be counted as a stage. So that's going to be interesting. Try start then D-pad. Oh, that is going to be good. That is going to be great because this tells me whenever I need a, a certain cap or not. That is awesome. Oh, let me turn this a little bit so I can just... Hit this thing without falling down. It's a mini frog! I love the mini frog so much. Okay, what is this? What is this magic box? It holds star 7 in it. Though you need to hit a big switch for it to work. You can find these in every level, hidden or in plain sight. I mean, for now I haven't seen anything else. But so far, so far, like, the level moves pretty well, like, it's it's fun to go through. And, it, like, it brims with, uh, with life. It teems with life. By the way, apparently, uh, Keyes has almost done, is almost done with one of his, uh, future hacks. And it's one of the most insane hacks I've ever seen. By the way, my my um, mic is speaking like a little bit into the into the the reds here. Yeah. Let me let me try and fix this a little bit because it's speaking like really really hard. Let's see. Um, maybe here. Maybe here. Okay, that seems that seems a little bit better. There we go. Yeah, my, my, my mic was like peeking all the way up to, to, to the red, so I wanted to fix that. But yeah, so... Yeah, Wario can make a lot of cash, definitely. I wonder where I can head to next. Because I'm still lacking some... I'm still lacking coins. And apparently there's a... There's a yellow switch somewhere in there. But I'm a little bit afraid to go into the pipes down there. 
Because I'm almost certain that if I do do that, it's not going to end up well. But at the same time, I don't have that much of a choice. Uh, this here needs the, the Vanish Cap, which I, of course, don't have. You know what? I'll go inside the pipe, inside the home. Oh, there is a star here. Wait, oh, there's... Oh, I have coins in the bathroom! I can't see anything. <laughs> okay, there, there were there were coins in the bathroom, but nothing else. Do can I can do I have to go on the toilet? No. No warps on the toilet. I mean, my my Paper Mario did it, so. Nothing inside here. Come on, I'm just, uh, like, 11 coins away from the star. You can't just prevent me from from getting that. Oh, no, they didn't. Perfect. I might be able to get it here. But I need to find it first. That's the biggest problem. Whoa! Whoa! There's a coin down here? That's just for secrets. Okay, that's that should be it. So that's all of the stars I can collect without getting any of the of the boxes. And apparently all of these all of these require Come on, I need to try. Oh I needed to try. Press star for star display. Oh! Well, that is going to be useful. Okay, what is this, though? Welcome to the hidden Titanal Castle of the Forest of Fear. Thanks for showing up. Bowser and a bunch of other people showed up and took over my castle. You've got to kick out them out of here. I'm supposed to watch over the rare titanium stars that are hidden in this museum-like castle, but as you can see, they are all gone. Help! That doesn't help me that much. Okay, this is going to bring me into course one. That is great and all, but I don't have access to side courses yet. Which is where I was before. Oh, that's cute. Um... And Mario, Mario RPG. Mario RPG, come on. Don't tuck out my heart strings like that already. It's I'm I'm like three stars in, dang it. Alright, that's three coins. Yeah, I don't see that many coins laid out here. The stage might be actually super huge. Yeah, as I think I think the stage might be humongous. Like look at that. Look at this beast of a first stage. That is insane. At least if you didn't have my attention before, you have it now, for sure. Oh yeah, by the way, I've seen a very interesting, um... Like, thing on Twitter that was like... Choose one console between the four, and the other three... The other three gets to survive. And the, the, the fourth one just has its... Its, um... Its whole entire library completely deleted and 
will never exist for the rest of you of of eternity. And the three the four consoles were the N64, the GameCube, the Wii, and the Switch. Ooh. Farewell we yeah exactly so here's my here's my my counterpoint of sorts for the Wii though if you take into account the virtual console Wii is actually better than the switch I would say <laughs> Good Lord it flies one, one, one fly just went and decided, hey, uh, what if I just went straight into your nose? Like, good lord. But yeah, so if you, if you have the, um, like, virtual console and whatnot, ah, dang it. If you have virtual console and whatnot, the Wii is actually better than the Switch, I would say. The Switch has some good games here and there, but nothing too strong, actually, compared to, to the entire... The entire like categories of Nintendo that that they have on the Wii. It's it's a super strong console for emulation, so I would say I would say that the Wii is still is still like relevant overall if you include the virtual console. But if you just account like for the console itself without the virtual console, which you can access through the 3DS, for example. Um, yeah, the, the Wii can just go. Like, farewell Wii. Like, there's literally no reason to, to keep a Wii. Other than a few games that are exclusive to Wii itself. Like, for example, uh, you have... You have... Um, dang it, what's it called? Twilight Princess on the GameCube. Twilight Princess is definitely on the GameCube, so you don't need to, to be playing that there. The trial, the, the Metroid Prime trilogy, of course you're going to lose Metroid Prime 3, but you still have 1 and 2 on the GameCube. Uh, Smash, Smash Bros. Brawl, well, uh, you have... You have Smash Bros. 64, Smash Bros. Melee, Smash Bros. Uh, 4 on the, uh, on the Wii U and 3DS, and then you have Smash Ultimate. I think you have more than enough to deal to deal with this. The better versions of the GameCube, yeah. Uh, Skyward Sword... Well... We won't miss much. <laughs> One of the few games I, um... I'm actually... I would actually be kinda sad to lose would be... Punch-Out. <laughs> you can't help but notice there's no bet going on. It's going to, it's a, it's a little bit hard to put a bet on on this. But if you have an idea for a bet on to for for my 64, I'm all ears. Yeah, wor worthy sacrifice. I mean, punch out punch out on the Wii is a really great game. Like it's really really fun to play. I dare say I actually prefer it to the NES version of the game. It has some really good music. So I was talking about like some uh, some poll that uh, what was it? I think it's Grand Pooh Bear that 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 posted something on Twitter about like pick one console the 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 other three gets to survive the one you cho you've chosen gets deleted alongside its library. And it was like the N64, the GameCube, the Wii, and the Switch. So we're, to we're talking about which console gets completely sacrificed. Uh, I can't find any money here. I'm looking for money. Okay, are we good here? Is there money here? Is there... There, there is none. Like, this place has no money whatsoever. What's happening?
Yeah, let's try climbing up here, I guess. No, there's there's nothing here either. Where do I go? There's like a box here, sure. Let's activate it, I guess. <laughs> this box has a single coin just to spite me, huh? <laughs> The Switch is a port machine. I would I would agree with that, but I would also say that the Wii is a shovelware machine. Can you feel the sunshine? That was easy. Okay, does, does he zoom now? Oh yeah, it does go zoom. <laughs> Can you feel the, the Mario sunshine? Yeah. Ah, oh, can't read these. Is a thing. I was I was just I was just pressing buttons like I usually do. But yeah, the uh, the Wii is a shovelware machine. Like it has so many bad games. It's unreal. The Switch at least has like uh, some really decent games to go alongside it, and there's there's really great first titles like Metroid Dread or um, Metroid Dread Animal Crossing. Some people would disagree, but I would say Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, I wouldn't count I wouldn't count Breath of the Wild because Breath of the Wild in itself is a Wii U title, but. And also that it's a bad game, but uh, um, uh, yeah, uh, that's that's not the time for 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 the big takes. I would say I would say that there's there's way more title on the Switch, way more way more normal titles on the Switch than there are on the Wii. Agreed, but. This is not about the PS2. This is about like um, the N64, the GameCube, the Wii, and the Switch. No, no other consoles. You have to pick one of the four. Not, uh, not another console. There are some summarize your feelings on Breath of the Wild pretty well. What what do they do they say? I've, I I don't know them. Why isn't Wii U cancelled? Wii U didn't exist anyway. <laughs> the Wii U didn't get to exist anyway. <laughs> so it would be a little bit unfair to count it. Alright, is there anything else I could do? Because like I'm at, I'm at 29 coins. 29 coins, 4 stars in, and I'm I've yet to find... Oh, there is no 80 coin star. Not accessible, okay. Oh, that's uh, that explains things. Now I, ca I can stop being dumb. Climb the wooden tower, okay. So I think this is... This is a Vawudan Tower over there. Skyward Sword perfects what Breath of the Wild fails in and vice versa. Mm. <laughs> Not too sure about that one! <laughs> I would say that they have they have like some really really clear problems on both sides, and that's not just uh, perfect in quotations. Yeah, yeah, big quotations there. Because I would say I would say that Breath of the Wild and Skyward Sword have like share some common points, and those common points are what brings both games down. Okay, there has to be. There has to be something over there. Wait, no, no. I haven't found the yellow box. No, did I? Did I not? Whoa! That's not what I was expecting. 
I'm trying to find a box that has that has a star in it then. Fee is leagues worse than Navi ever was. Yeah. It's just it's not even it's not even a take. Like have you ever, have you ever seen my um <laughs> like the small little doodle that I made a long time ago? I made like a small little comic about about how in Breath of the Wild 2 they will not have a durability system. So the um, so for example the Master Sword won't break. But also they are going to make it more similar to Skyward Sword. So Fee is coming back. And now you're going to regret you're going to regret wanting for the, for for new durability. <laughs> He is the built-in backseat gamer. The, that's even worse than just a backseat gamer. It's like a backseat, a backseat pseudoscientist that tries to be to be like, oh yeah, you have you have that much pro that much percentage of winning this thing. But what if you do this and you, you have like like 25% of trying to win that that uh, that thing? It's it's even worse in my opinion. Like a backseat gamer would go, yeah, okay. So if you if you just if you play this thing this way, that might not be as good. Like in itself, in itself, the backseat gamer tries to 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 participate. Fee is just there. That's it. Like Fee is just there to annoy you, and that's it. Where's... Where's Star... S star 7 is over here? What do you mean Star 7 is over here? I haven't seen any Star 7. Wahoo! Is it below? No, there's nothing here. I don't know what to do for, for this section. So I need to do... 7. I need to find the yellow box. Which I have found. Like, I have found the, uh, the yellow box that... That I needed to break. But the problem is that the yellow box had a coin, not a star. Good day, Jason. Yeah, a backseat gamer doesn't stop you from playing the game. Exactly. Exactly, Vital. Whereas, whereas Fee is just like, oh yeah, let me let me stop you for a whole minute, trying to explain to you things you've already known or things you just don't care about. Or just, just be like, numbers, 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 numbers. And this is, this is something I don't understand coming from Nintendo. Because people hate those. And they never, never go out of that way. They always have a tutorial-ish character that's like, Numbers, numbers, hey, you need to go there. <laughs> like, please. We just want to play our games. Okay. Can I go through here? Huh, seems like it. Yeah, Fee does it all the time. Okay, I'm lost. I thought I, I knew where I was going, but apparently not. Wait, is that it? No, this is just to, to get full... full life. Over there is just a normal... Okay, so there is a red box... Uh, well, a yellow box right here. But that's a yellow box that has a, a shell in. Then there's this yellow box. What the a star f never won in the squat. Vital! Vital gifted a tirant sub toujours et da decarque. 
They have given the gift of in the channel. <rire> Joe est un des corps. <rire> oh wow. I'm sorry, Joe. Oh wow. The, the, apparently, the, the TTS really didn't like your name, huh? <rire> Joe est un des corps. You like you, you like it. I'm glad then. It's it's vital. Number one in the squad. Vital. Vital gifted attire un sub to Jason Mad 97. They have given three gift subs in the channel. It's in channel. <laughs> Thank you so 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 much, Vital. And enjoy the floofs. Enjoy all of the floofs. Okay, so apparently the the the, 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 the seventh thing is, is right around here, but there is no... Like, it doesn't show the box anywhere. Huh. Is that this box over there? Over yonder? No, wait, this is a wing cap one. Yeah, this is the wing cap box. Dang it. Where could it be? Because over there is store number two, which forces me to climb all the way over there. But I, I don't see any box that has like the... Maybe up there? Question mark? I'll take a look. Oh, there it is! Oh! Never mind! What the heck is this? What? That was just a stupid, a stupid bomb in that box. Where's my... Where's my box? Where's my yellow box? I don't understand. Maybe you need all of the... All of the other ones? It doesn't say that you need the wing cap in order to get those though, so... Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'll let this be for now. I'll try and collect the, the wing cap whenever I can. And then come back to this later on. I still have to come back to this, so I'll, I'll come back for the box afterwards. Could I stop... Could I stop the game so you can explain that I've picked up a bob -omb, please? Well, I mean, I mean... It's a perfectly fine bob -omb. Right? <laughs> yeah, the, um, like, Fee is, is horrible on that front. I really do not want Fee to come back. But guess what What Nintendo has based Breath of the Wild 2 on? At least there are, there, are, there are bigger points. I see you've picked up a coin. There are many coins laid around this kingdom. If you collect 80 coins, you might collect a star. Oh, that's lava. There's there's a door here. Whoa, that's a pit. Okay, so... 4, 13, 14, and switch. Hmm. And you have to save feet to restore power to the master. No, no, I will, I will just throw the master sword into a lake and never pick it back up if I have to to wake up feet to use it. Well, just let it be like completely destroyed and almost useless. Wait, that's it. This is course two, right? Yeah. So small box stair sprint. Huh? What's this? 
Okay, so I have a normal jump height on this end. That's good to know. This music tells me something. Hot take incoming, Midna was overrated as a companion? Uh, I would uh, half agree. I would half agree, but then again, you have to... You have to, to compare... Like, you have to compare Midna to Navi, Tile, and Fee. And also the, the weird the weird hat thing on on uh on Minish Cap. Like you had to compare it to a lot of things. So I would say that Minna in comparison to all of those uh yeah Laszlo I mean Laszlo was uh Whoop! Well, uh, there I go. Oh, am I surviving? Oh. oh. I thought for some reason this was F. This is just... Tar. Okay. Creepy old boatman. Yeah, the, 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 the king of all lions. Hmm, that's interesting. You like Zelda 1 Companion the best. Yeah, right. Likewise, Joe. Likewise. I loved it. Get it, Melink. Oh, yeah, no, that's... Yeah. That's some things you really don't want to hear. On any kind of basis. Oh, I just sang his straight down into the bones, huh? Alright. This is interesting. Like this this entire place is interesting though. Cause it, it's it sounds as a, as a um, like it. It looks like it's going to be super dangerous to just roam around here, but no, you can just walk onto the tile. Tattle, tattle, tattle. Ta you mean tile? Oh ta no, ta no, tattle, tattle, tattle. The um, the one in Majora's Mask, right? For whatever reason, I always confuse Tattle and Tile. But I would actually... My favorite companion, quote-unquote, on any Zelda game, and that one is going to be a surprise to you to most, is Linebaker. Or Linebaker. I think he's called Linebaker, not Linebaker. But Linebaker is a really... Really, really, really good companion overall. Oh, let me let me just readjust myself here. Whew. The line deck was was a really, really, really funny one. DS Zelda's they aren't real. They can't hurt you. Those are real and they were really good. I'm I'm sorry, but Phantom Hourglass was really good, at least. I can't I can't vouch for for spirit tracks, but Phantom Hourglass was good. And they used the DS in, in ways that like a lot of other games truly didn't bother. Hated the control schemes. That is fair. That is fair that it, they could have done a um a link between worlds way where you can just either control through the um, through the, the gamepad itself or through the the touchpad. Like giving you the option would have been better. But I think that they can they can literally do that in a in a remake of the game. 
But they don't do 3DS, 3DS games anymore now, do they? Hmm. Yeah, my, my my stomach hurts a little bit here. I think I might have to to fetch some uh, some medicine. Yeah, I might have to fetch some medicine very soon. For now, I'm fine, but yeah, it's options are always better. Everyone wins when devs do that. Everybody wins, but the devs. That's a problem. People don't want to. Well, oh, oh, that's interesting. That was a box up here. But yeah, the uh, it takes time. It takes time to to add the, those options and and those things and. Ain't nobody got time for that, I guess. But I would, I would prefer if the, if you had like the option to, to, to control it differently, like to have two ways to to control it. Like I would be, I would be okay with that. I still like the the way you control the, the game on on Phantom Hourglass. I think I will have to, re to reset the game. Uh, the there's platforms that are not showing. I think I will have to reset the game. The blue platforms aren't showing at all, so that's going to be interesting. Because I think I think there's two platforms here, but the, the other one isn't showing up. So I will definitely have to reset. But at least want to get the 80 point star before I do I do that. Oh come on! Harry, thank you so much for the follow. Boink. That's a that's still interesting, though, that they decided to use that kind of uh, control scheme for Phantom Hourglass, though. Like, it was... It was the proof that they, are st they were still willing to experiment in some way, shape, or form. And I can't say I can't respect that. Okay, I still need to find like one or two more skulls. Oh, well, I'm stuck in tall. How do I reach? Okay, yeah, from from this area sand. Yeah, uh, I'm collecting the star and then we'll... Uh, I'll do a quick BRB. Because I truly, truly, truly need... To go and fetch some medicine. You all for innovation and all just made the game run fun for you. That's fair. That's fair. <sighs> okay, so that's where that's where I want to go for. That box. Okay, it's time to move, I guess. <laughs> after 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 this little break. Okay. There we go. That was easy. All right. I'm saving this one. Uh, we're going to be to be to be going right back. I'm fetching some medicine. I'm drinking the medicine, and then we are zooming right into the game again. I'll see you in a few. Whoop.
All right. I am all back. Woo. Well, now I realize it's... Uh, the BRB scene is a little bit of a, of a mess, huh? <laughs> a tiny, tiny little bit of a mess. What's everyone's favorite game? Uh, that is a good question. That is a good question I, which I can't answer, so... I definitely can't answer, not because I I don't want to, but because I played so many flipping games, so many of them, uh, that... Yeah! Oh, the weight doesn't work in the scene, for whatever reason. Let's me let me let me let me remedy that. You should be able to weep in here. Weep 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 weep. Let me weep weep. There we go. So, uh, we are kind of good to go, we are kind of good to roll. I took my medicine and we are all ready to go. So, what would be my favorite game? It's really, really hard to, to pinpoint because I've played like something around like 3,000 games and that's only on console. Uh, I, could, I think you can, double, you can double that if you add games on PC. So, yeah. I think I can't pick a favorite one out of the 6,000 I've played. <laughs> so yeah. Like I remember I remember doing like a list of games I would recommend for people to play on the Nintendo and well, on Nintendo systems and and PlayStation systems and let's just say that it was <laughs> Long to do. <laughs> that sounds like immature numbers. Believe me, it is not. Because you have to consider that I played I played at least ten hours of each game. If I if I could just remember the game in itself, I, I've spent at least five, ten hours on it. So And then you have certain certain games in series like this guy which are with like, this guy I won, I swore to never play it again because I lost my 10,000 hours save game. Because I played it too much, so much, that my cartridge on my cartridge on Nintendo DS burned. That's how bad it was. <laughs> So yeah, I'm never touching this guy one ever, ever again. But it's a fantastic game, and and, and I wouldn't have spent those that that amount uh, that amount of hours without liking it. So yeah, but still, fantastic game and a game that people that love strategy games would should play at least once. Try to get into the series, but just didn't pull, pull you in. Uh, which game did you start in first, though? Because some games are like a little bit rough in terms of story, story and whatnot. And it is very grindy. If you don't like grindy, ga grindy games, yeah, <laughs> that's no, that's no surprise. Like who was the main character? Was it was it like Lahal? Was it uh, I think it was uh, Adele? The second the second game is Adele. Um, the third game is Mao. The fourth game is I I, I never remember his name. His his name is like super weird. Uh, Vavatores. 
is the fourth one. And the fifth one is uh, Kilia. For the names of the characters. It was free. Okay, so yeah. Free is the hardest one to start on. Like, it's... it's its story is really bad. The um, the gameplay changes on that great compared to other games, and like it's it's a really bad game to start on. If you want to to have like a fresh, like a good a good take on this guy in general, I would recommend playing the first game or the fifth game. The fourth game is actually pretty good as well if you want to. To have some fun on 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 it, but uh, I would recommend either the first game or the fifth game. Okay, what 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 were you what were you saying, little dude? Oh, are you the one who helps are helping us out? Did you know that you can find hints for all the stars in the pause menu? Well, sadly not in the squassel. Well, thanks, dude. That's that's my little pocket fee here. Hey. Hey, there was something in there. I was seeing something weird inside the tree, so I decided to just run around and lo and behold, it was actually a star. I can't please get out of, the, of this place, though. I would love it if I could. Okay, maybe if I just do a triple jump from the tree. Let me get out! Let me get out of there! Okay, there we go. Whew. Try playing it many years ago. So honestly, pr probably could get through it now. Just get several fussies in a row. <laughs> it's... Like, the third one is really rough. In every single part of the... Uh, of the thing. And the fact that it's on the PS3 really isn't helping much. Like, PS3 is a, ni is a nightmare in terms of a console. Like there's there's few games that I've played on the game on the the PS3 that just run like garbage, and the fun fact about it is that I played those same games on PC ports later on. They run so smoothly. It was disgusting. I was disgusted that I ever played those games on PS3. PS3 emulator exists now. That's not that's not helping. That's not helping. The, the console in itself is bad. That doesn't help. Like, an emulator doesn't help that much. This is one huge cage. Hey, what heads on how to get the star? You see, the tree inside has a warp that connects to the tree with the same color pattern. Where's the other tree? Uh, I think at some points it's the star sign with a 2 on. And there are a lot of frogs in the area with a counterpart tree. Okay. This is this is a Delta Rune sound, right? Yeah, I think this is Delta Rune. It does if the game is a PS3 exclusive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really sucks if it's a, a PS3 exclusive. And guess what game is absolutely 100% PS3 exclusive? Metal Gear Freaking Solid 4. Metal Gear Solid 4 was such a beautiful game. But yeah stuck on the PS3 and of course since Konami is Konami and Kojima is not part of that anymore uh, I guess it's stuck in copyright heck because even though even though Konami has the rights to, to the Metal Gear Solid franchise 
uh, they don't have the right, they don't have all the rights either. Like Kojima Productions are still, is still, is still a thing. And just for isn't is appreciated. It's not that it's underappreciated, it's that nobody can play it. So nobody can appreciate it other than the people that have a PS3 and the game. Wait, am I supposed to go through it this way? Wait, that doesn't make sense. Huh? What's this sign for? Well, I get close, I'll just go back to the start of right. Go into this pipe and it will take you there. Uh, sure, I'll take the pipe. Hopefully I don't die. People, is, people say it's the worst in the series now? Uh, have they ever played... Have they ever played 5? Like, 5 is, is decent, but nowhere near... Nowhere near 4. Yeah, definitely Delta Rune. Huh. Oh, that's that's the ride. I see. Well, I guess my ride is over there now. I mean, I guess I don't need the ride. I can just go here and and do the things myself with my own little feet. Woo! Let's go. Like the plot twist in 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 five was uh, not too fond of it, to be honest. I'll take damage. Wait, what? What? What do you mean? I activated all of these. Do I have to redo it again? Come on. What? what do you mean I didn't activate that one over there? I did! Vocal cord parasites. Yeah. No, no machines. Yeah, the, the 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 plot twist in in five was like, come on, are you for real? Oh, these dudes are going to die because they speak English. Like, what the heck, man? This this sound that Luigi makes when it's when he's like <laughs> What is that sound? Skull Fave was was just wholly a disappointment, yeah. A lot of things on on both games. There, there, there's a couple of things on both games that truly are painful but i think that five in general was the more uh out of them especially late game late game is just a slog because you have to redo like all kinds of of missions and whatnot to be able to get to the end game and it's just like why yeah just a phantom yeah yeah <laughs> There's no phantom in here, it's just pain. 
They forgot the phantom part of that. I still remember the uh, the Hame Daisy. Let's go destroy the Shago Hot. Such a great video. I still need to play Delta Run Chapter Two. I think I might do it on January on YouTube. Because slowly, slowly but surely, I'm going to to remove like the uh, the single player games on Twitch and have it more of an interactive platform than than have it like be me playing games and that's it. Five at least had some cool foreshadowing, yeah. But. Four has that final battle though. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely we'll need to. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. Oh wait, no, I don't have the eight, the eighty coins yet. Uh... <laughs> There's going to be a pain because I won't be able to see the the switch to activate for this platform. So I don't, I don't know if I want to do this right now or not. You know what? Let's try. I'll be fully responsible for for any and all things I mess up with. Whoa! Hello there! Whee! Well, I'm dead. I am so dead. I am ultra dead. I am... Yeah, I am the death. If I die here, I reset anyway. But maybe I can save this. Yeah, I'm just that good. Force ending is 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 good. No debates. And you find this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that final fight against against Liquid is really powerful. And even like the, 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 the events that lead to there, you feel the struggle. You feel like the, the age catching up to Snake. He's old Snake for a reason now. And you feel it for the entire sections. Also, the uh... <laughs> The, the, the callback to, to Metal Gear Solid, Solid 1. Like, for real though. That was really cool. Especially with, with all of the things that, that, that were like, oh yeah, but that doesn't exist anymore. I, I can't do that anymore. How do I do this? <laughs> for for um, Psycho Mantis. Like that, that was that was really really fun. All right, so this one is collected. So yeah, I'm going to to reset the emulator right here because if I don't start it at the right the right plugin, the the problem is I can't see any blue platforms whatsoever, nor the blue switches that would let me toggle on and off some blocks. So yeah, definitely need to deal with that. It did feel a little bit shortened. Like I'm, I'm, uh, like yeah, definitely. But it was a nice throwback, though. Wait, now that is something I've never seen before. That is not something I've ever seen in this hack yet. Oh! 
Wait. Do I need to destroy all the bears? Don't think so. Maybe? Maybe not? We'll see. Normally these bears have like a, something to tell whenever you do this, so... But yeah, the whole section was like, was a bit shoehorned in, but at the same time, it was a nice callback. Like a nice throwback to, to good old Metal Gear Solid 1. And I feel like this game truly deserved it at this point. After all we've gone through, through here. Because it, it comes full circle, the uh, like old snake comes back to, to, to his roots and fights, fights some of his old enemies. The Phantom Pain is only is not only for, for the hero, you know. <laughs> it should have been the end, yeah. Should have been the end, but at the same time, uh, they still had Peace Walker and whatnot. Like they had the um They had the other snake, let's just say. Hmm. So there's something on top of that of that thing. But how do I reach there? Oh, there is a small Oh, this okay, that just leads here. And Peace Walker was actually pretty good overall. Oh, you know what? The worst Metal Gear Solid ever. Metal Gear Acid. We completely forget about this one. And for a good reason. The Metal Gear Acid series was really bad. Oh. Oh no, it's a bridge! I've been bumblezled. You forget Peace Walker exists. I mean, Peace Walker and... There was Peace Walker, Portable Ops, um, Metal Gear Acid, there was, there was like a lot of, of other things. Peace Walker was really good. Like, no questions asked. It was really good. Okay, so this should have activated the, the cannon, right? I forgot where the cannon was. <laughs> Where is the flipping cannon? You missed cast from from Peace Walker, yeah. A lot, a lot of the the games had like some really good, really good characters, like sub characters overall. He's definitely hangry man. Uh, you know what? We go for it. Making sure that I'm not, like, just... Come on! Perfect. Oh, that was way under shot here. Whoa, 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 whoa! That's fine. At least we were right on there. I like Seijin's, for example, in Metal Gear Solid 2. Seijin's was a good one. Was it free? No, Sigint was in, in two, right? No, free. No, Sigint was in three. The uh, the other one was um the 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 arms person was uh, something else in two. People were speculating that Chico was quiet. This is interesting. <laughs> Sigint. Yeah. He was in free, yeah, okay. So I don't remember what uh, what character was in two. It was similar to Sigint in how we operated and whatnot, but um 
It technically was in one two, yeah. But there's a lot of throwbacks from one in three, so. Hmm. Is it the tree? There's lots of wrongs nearby. I've yet to find the uh the number two. It's not the one. But I see a star over there, so I'm going to collect it. Slowly but surely. There we go. Man, that medicine is, is making uh, like the work. I, I'm, I'm not feeling any pain whatsoever now. I usually don't like to rely on medicine whatever I can, but this was a little bit too much for my for my things. Uh, the bomb expert, yeah. Still, man. They're kind of similar in their voices, so that's why. That's why I thought they were the same. Oh, I found it. It's that one. Of course, it has to be that one. It's the one that is blue. That be the double die. Can you... Can you please? Wait, why can I... Why do I clip like that? What? Come on, it has to be this one. There we go. Yeah, they have they have like a very similar voice overall. Yeah, don't I don't think they are related at all, but for me, I don't I don't know. They just they just felt similar in their voices. This music is giving me PTSD. Uh, we're we're almost done with this place. We're just lacking the yellow box, and oh, actually, I can't do the yellow box because I'm missing, I'm missing something. So yeah, we are lacking nothing here. So let's get out of here. As long as we haven't uncovered the uh, the courses, let's see. So apparently this is C4, but I've yet to find the metal cap yet, so, hmm. That is interesting. <laughs> that turn chapter, chapter 2 is long? That is, that, is, that is good because chapter 1 was like super short. Super short and super easy, so... I would be okay with uh, a longer chapter. I wonder what this music is from. It's familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. Hmm, nothing there? At least to you, it's starting feeling like a slog. I see. Wait, what? That's an interesting position for for coins to be in. Oh, hello there. Come here. Oh, give me your shell, dang it. I want your shell. Shell is mine. But yeah, definitely, I'm definitely interested still. Even if it would feel like a, a bit of a slog later on, I would be interested in a longer version of Delta Rune because 
Good lord. The amount of time I spent on Delta Rune 1, chap well, on Delta Rune Chapter 1 was like way too short. I think I spent like 3 hours 100%ing it and I was like, yeah, come on, man. Well, 100%ing it is, is a bit of a, of a stretch. Like doing the, uh, the pacifist route, rather. But yeah, it was super, super, super short. And replaying it isn't... Like, replaying games like Delta Rune on the tail isn't exactly my cup of tea. Like, unless they have different different routes of, of different things to do, like, for example, the the genocide route in, in, in Undertale, uh, like, I'm not that much interested in in replaying those kinds of story games. If that makes sense. Just like I wouldn't be playing games like A Link to the Past again and again and again if it was just meant to, to, to replay the game just for the sake of it. I would definitely replay the randomizer again and again and again because it offers something different, but playing the same base game like non-stop is not my thing. Chapter 2 has a story split. Okay, that's interesting then. Is it dependent on Chapter 1 or not? Because that would be... A bit of a... Uh, thing? Did you know that shell boxes will respawn this time? Oh, so don't worry about using them. Good thing I just didn't waste mine. Good thing I wasted mine trying to talk to you again, huh? Don't think so? Okay. Wait, what? What do you mean I lost my... You have no desire to go back and check for yourself. That's fair. Oh, please. I want to try and cheese this section. See, see if, if you can do it differently. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, oh, please. This is a bit hard to control overall. Oh, no, you can't. They made it impossible for- Oh, no, I could've! I could've! You got Toby Foxed out, I see. <laughs> there's sir, then. There's sir. Yeah, the, um... Delta Room Chapter 1 felt awkward to me. Because it ended very abruptly and... Not exactly in a good kind of way. It was like, yeah, uh... I'm just done with you. That's, that's it. Here's your game, get, get away from me. That's pretty much how I felt like for... For chapter one, so I was like, chapter two, mm, maybe, maybe it's going to be like a bit better on that front. Maybe it's going to cover some aspects of it. But yeah, oh well, 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 where? There I go. Okay, this is three and seven. I don't really need. Really need any coins here. Yeah. 
Man, all of these, all of these hidden boxes here and there. Okay. Some of these jumps are scary. For no reason, for no particular reason. They just feel scary to me. Also, I see that box. I see that box over there. Like right here. But I need to find the big yellow switch though. But I can't get that box before I do that. Can I actually get to that star? I wonder. Hey, there are you. How are you doing? Chapter 1's villain you liked because it was just that a villain. Mm. Ah. How are you doing, Aria? I'm... I'm okay with a villain, a villain being a villain because they have a motive behind it. But if they just want to be villains just for the sake of being of being a bot to everybody, yeah, this is where I'm like, yeah, no, that's not exactly good. Exhausted? If you didn't leave your place... <laughs> I feel that. Sometimes sometimes I, I I sleep like for 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 10 12 hours and be like, "Oh yeah, I just I just can't. I'm t I'm too tired, man. I'm too tired. I can't do anything in my life." <laughs> so I feel that. You mean in reference to chapter 2's antagonist, I see. We'll see. We'll see. I haven't done chapter 2 yet, so I'll see how this goes. You woke up at 6 a.m. It's almost midnight now. Oh no, that's normal then if you're if you're exhausted. It's been a while since you've slept. Okay, so how am I supposed to reach here normally? I see. I see, I was supposed to get to get here from <laughs> I guess I can't cheese that entire thing, huh? <laughs> it didn't show up until the end and was just built up. I mean not really built up, I would say. It was it's it's just evil just for the sake of being evil for for this one. Like I really didn't like the first one. Okay, that was scary. Jeez. But what did you do? Like even even if you didn't if you didn't leave your place, like what did you do today, Aurea? Oh, wait, what? Oh. Oh, I see. You can just enter and, and leave whenever you need to. I see. But that... Uh, does that mean that I need the... Uh, do, I, do I really need a... No! <laughs> well, there I go. <laughs> you are venturing in FF14 and had the six-hour lecture? Nice! What was the lecture about? And what did you do on, on 14? Yeah, sadness. I think I'll be able to, to get back to, to where I was pretty easily. I do not know where the, pla the place is at all. But eh, I'll find it again, I guess. Where is it? Oh, where is it? Where is the place? That's not where I want to be. <laughs> yeah. 
Ah, oh, there it is. Catching up on story. Yeah, for, for Endwalker, right? Oh, come on. Still not, oh, still not in the new content, but what arrives. Apparently, from what I hear, FF14 story is really good. And I played a tiny little bit of it when I had like a free month of the game. And yeah, from what I, from what I could see, it was, was decent. But apparently it gets even better later on, so... Ouch! My boots. Okay, so this time let's not let's not do dumb things, right? Dumb things avoided. Perfect. So I need to climb up to the the right side, I guess. No, here, here's the thing, a bad guy, a good bad guy, is somebody that you might not necessarily hate at all uh, for, 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 for their, their, their motives. Like, a bad bad guy is just evil just for the sake of being a ho 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 ho, uh, I am the evil dude, so I do evil things. A good bad guy just has a purpose, has reasons for their actions, has a personality that leads to those reasons. And something that you can't really hate them for. Because... What if you were in their shoes? In their shoes? Like, how would you deal with their problems? How would you deal with the, the things they're trying to do? The lecture was about encryption. Nice. Yeah, the the, ba the basic um, the basic encryption on on files and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm getting thrown. No, not even. Huh, I thought I was getting in front of that. Even then... Like, sometimes... Sometimes, like, a, a super good villain will make you feel like, okay, they are doing the thing and destroying the world might not be that bad compared to what they have suffered. Like, a really good villain will make you feel like that. <laughs> like, I get where they're coming from. They are going to destroy the world, sure. But what the heck was that world to begin with? <laughs> This is starting to sound like Griffith uh, propaganda. <laughs> but I mean, there, there, there are some, some villains where, where you're like, okay, yeah, you're, you're bad, but I really don't want to fight you. Like, you're, you're, you're the, the final boss, but I really don't want to fight you. Like, Moth of Free, for example, um... Mother Free's final boss. Like, what the heck? You, 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 don't, you, you know they're, they're here to destroy the world and to kill you, but you don't want to fight them. Oh, so I can use a shell here. Okay. Okay, so I need to try and bring a shell all the way over here. I still have some last words from one of them in your head, yeah. 
Good villains are memorable. Good villains, like, stay all the way in your mind, and they will live there rent-free. Okay. Okay, there we go. I think this is the uh, the middle course. Right? Ashamak? Are you flipping kidding me? It is indeed the middle cap. Let's go. Uh, where do you go? Over there? Okay. The best villains are still worse than only good rival characters. Don't ask me. Ah! Not too sure about that one. Not too sure about that one. Because there are some really, really good villains out there. Like... When you get to... Um, well, it's a bit of an old game now, but Blaze Blue had... Well, Blaze Blue had a really, really great villain in, in the first games. And then how, he, how, how you're dealing with that character during the entire series. Like the the game built up to 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 that character. It's it's it was really really well made. Uh, Hazama in in Blaze Blue. Well, technically technically Terumi. What? 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 What was that? What was that? Yeah, Hazama is a, is an example of a great villain overall. Like Jeremy is just is just uh sure. Yeah, it's it, he's he's bad, he's evil and whatnot, but Hazama is, is different in that way. Because the two are completely different entities. Jeremy is like evil incarnate and that's it. But Hazama is different in that. It's, it's a bit hard to explain how... how Like without, without going into too much detail into the Blaze Blue lore. But yeah. Hazama is more of an antagonist. Well, you, say, you would say Jeremy is a villain, yeah. And then, of course, at the end, you have Susanoo. But yeah, that's something else entirely. <laughs> Bibi Law is an abyss and quite frankly, frankly a little contrived, yeah? That's, that's because of the... of the formats they have used, to be honest. But... To be honest, I loved the way they dealt with the story in Blaze Blue in general. And I'm kinda sad they didn't reuse the same kind of things for whatchamacallit. For the later games, because like having different outcomes depending on if you lose on if you win with certain conditions and whatnot, it's still like really really good in terms of in terms of um Whatchamacallit. Of making story altogether. Because you can have like gag routes, you can have uh, like some sides some side things that you can you can explore. Like it gives more lore to the game, weirdly, weirdly enough. Even if it's not going to be necessarily canon, it's still it's still a fun part to add to the game. 
Yeah, CSX is what well, is is a really really good one. Eternity trigger was a mess. Oh well, well there we go. Eternity trigger was a mess, but the story was the better part of it. I'm the best antagonist. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to be an antagonist at all, you know. I'm trying to be friendly to everyone. Okay, I'm gonna try and cheese this. Can I actually do this? Ah, uh, questionable. I don't think so. Yeah, Calamity, tr Calamity Trigger was an absolute mess. Infinites everywhere, you could just deal so much damage to, to through, through any single any single combo. The, uh, the commands to do anything in that game were, well, a little bit, a little bit bonkers. Nintendo's biggest antagonist, I would agree on that. 100%. 100% on that one. Yeah, but that's that's the thing that's interesting about it is that the ways you you obtain the different endings and whatnot like made it different than a, a normal visual novel. Nintendo is Japanese EA, change your mind. I would ar argue that EA is still worse. I would argue that EA in itself is still worse. There we go. Though now, apparently Activision is even worse than, than most now. But EA is still very bad. Still terrible. Just that people completely forgot that he existed, I guess. But to be fair, Activision Blizzard is in a real mess right now, and it's no wonder that people are actually actively like campaigning against against the company. <laughs> And apparently there's talks there there's talks about a ban on Activision games on on consoles. Like for example on PS5 and and on the Switch and whatnot. Like people are trying to just boycott the uh, the company altogether. If they don't fix up their 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 things. Poor Raven being owned by Activision. Poor everything owned by... You know what? I'm very tem- Oh, hello there. I'm very tempted not to activate this box. This box is terrifying. You know what? Let's go. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Why just a single coin? Anything else would have been good. Come on, man. Okay, I want to get on top of the cannon. Because I want to see the things that are everywhere else. Alright. So I guess I'm supposed to just run all the way here. Okay. What does that give me? I hate that coin placement. Just saying. Well, that star placement, yeah. <laughs> Cause now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try and hit this thing <laughs> through the wall jumps. Huh? Huh? Just get good. 
I, I, I'm trying to get in the goods. Everybody always tells me to get goods, but not to get better. <laughs> sub, sub, sub. <laughs> you don't see cards not being on console? Well, that's what people are threatening you to do, though. Like, they're threatening you to remove, like, all... All cards and all games from Activision from console. Next is Blizzard as well, because Activision is part of 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 Activision Blizzard. So that could that could affect Blizzard as well. That could be really bad for them. You know what? I have never in my life gotten any game of fuel or anything like that. I've never tried it even once. Not that I do not want to, it's just that I never had the opportunity. I never had like the uh... <laughs> I never could even try it. And to be fair, I'm kinda interested. I'm kind of interested in trying out. Oh, good lord. How in the blazing hex do I go there? Okay, so there is a thing over there, like all the way up, but... How do I get there? Luigi on Luigi in the dark. Oh boy timing. How do I skip? Metal shell combo. I don't have the metal cap. With heart over the lava falls. I mean, I think I've seen the over the lava falls one, but... How do I even reach that? Oh, damage boosting. Okay. You only had the original game fuel that was released to promote Halo 3. Good lord, that's... <laughs> if that's still in your system, uh, I'd be I'd be kind of worried. Which is which you you've heard is completely different from modern game fuel. I see. I think it's active no to Activision in itself, uh, in protest to the people in Activision. Well, to add to one person in particular, Bobby Kotick. But... Yeah, the, uh, the thing is really, really bad for Activision in general. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. You're sure it bonded somewhere in your body. I, at least uh, now you're, you're a full 100% a full branded gamer. Like you, you can't, you can't be any any less gamer than you are right now. It's in your blood now. And there is no, but nothing that anybody could do to to reverse that. For the better or for worse. Uh, no, no gamer words though. <laughs> no gamer words. Please, already, please. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah, any gamer worlds are are not good. How in the blazing hex am I Could you flip in mind? Okay, so I need to go from up there, I guess. Okay, then I go all the way around. Question mark. That doesn't make not much sense to me, but I'll see. Okay, then I go through here. I jump there. No, oh, I've done that before. Oh wait, no, but I fell. Right. I tried, but I fell dumbly. 
Hmm. Very, very normal star that will absolutely not collect. There we go. Give me my red cap. Good light save, yes. So now we have access to an L cap. Let's go. But yeah, I would I would definitely be interested in trying out I would be interested in trying out the um Alright It's game of time I guess Let's go! First try! That wasn't too bad. Is that it? Okay, Metal Shell Combo. This is the only one I haven't gotten to, into the stage yet. I wonder what it could be. That was dumb. The cliffhangers are read. Yes! It's okay, I only have one health. It's all fine. Now I'm all good. I can survive at least one but burn. And now two. But I wonder where that... Hmm... Where that third one could be? I'm trying to look for the for the the, the panel that has the star three on it. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I think it's right over here. Oh yeah, right. There's the metal cap and the the shell here. But how would I even? Is that it? Oh yeah, that is it. Well, that was easy. That was easier than I expected it to be. Okay, that should be it for this entire area. Yep, that is absolutely everything I can collect. So, let's get out of here. So now that I've unlocked the metal cap, I think I can do a couple of things here. There we go. Come on. A butt juggling. Completed. That's already 32 stars. Like it's been it's been two hours already collected thirty two stars alt altogether. I might be shorter than I expected it to be. Yeah, still like so for for those that came in a little bit later on, this is two hundred and sixteen stars. Yeah, yeah, you you heard me right, two hundred and sixteen stars. There is no exaggeration. So yeah, that is going to be quite the uh, the epic tale where we're we're embark embarking ourselves in. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one, to be honest. I'm having a lot of fun with it already. Oh yeah, by the way, I've bought I've bought something something interesting recently. Uh let me let me I has gotten 
Wies. Bean boozles. I has bean boozles now. So yeah, this this is uh, this might be a uh, a redemption I will do later on. Or if as as a punishment if I fail something or something like that. Who knows? Hey, Evie! Hello there! How are you doing? How is the things? Okay, so course 4 is completely finished. And now we need to head to, I guess, course... Course... What, key 1? Oh, Evie, thanks, thank you for the follow. How is how is the things? <laughs> All right, -o, so Baza one has eight. Wow, eight stars as well. That's going to be interesting. So that means this stage will have an eighty coin star. Me. Stupid little enemy. He just joined. <laughs> I love how he jumped trying to follow me here. Come on. Come here. <laughs> Things are sleepy. <laughs> you know what? That is fair. That is absolutely fair. It's... It should be like pretty late on your actually late or early. Hmm. You're in Australia, so it should be pretty late in your in your in your case. Well at least it should be morning? Question mark? Well almost morning? Huh. I don't know. But yeah, it's been it's been fun watching some of your streams, Evie. Like, uh, I just got the Void Train uh, because of you. It was it was quite a fun game, to say the least. <gasps> Fish! <laughs> oh, by the way, if you have seven TV, uh, we have a, fee a new Fish emote. We have a new fish emote. Been awake for 18 hours too. It's 7 a.m. here. Oof, you need to you need to go sleep. I know I know that me saying it doesn't have that much of an impact because sometimes my sleep schedule is like pain incarnate, but still you need to sleep. You need to rest. Do not be like Morpha and me. Okay. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> I absolutely didn't didn't miss that jump. Nope. No sorry. That's a nice little location for a for a blue switch. All right, well, halfway there for the uh, eighty coin star. But yeah, this run the heck is like super fun. I fear that if I try to to go on the top of the of the thing, it's just going to send me to send me away. The quicksand is my is my most terrifying enemy here. Yeah. A good old hug to Joe. I shouldn't make my keyboard use use uh, some of the uh, the emotes I have in 7TV at least.
Because I have at least one cuddle limit. Oh, I need to find a switch. Because otherwise, I can't get access to that star. I wonder where it could be. <laughs> I tried. I thought I thought I could just like climb that thing straight away, like bop, 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 walking onto the wall. But nope, that didn't work that way. Joe is good. Joe gets hugs. Joe de definitely deserves m a lot of hugs. A ton of them. Joe is great. <laughs> Evie is also great. But Joe definitely deserves hugs. No, no, no fish! Joe is bullied to Bun Bun. <laughs> well, to be fair, Joe is bullied to a lot of people. But Joe is still good. See? Joe is the perfect villain. He can be he can be bullied to a lot of people, but he's still he's still like he's still likable, still lovable. <laughs> Joe is the perfect villain. Okay, I would love. To be able to do anything else. Yeah. Okay, that opens up that thing. What? No! Oh! I don't know how I survived that, but I shouldn't have. Just going to say I shouldn't have survived that thing. That should have killed me. But for some miracle reason, I still managed to survive this. You bully all, yep. Without exceptions. And you are never punished for it. Never. Yeesh. Okay, the boss should be around here, right? Uh, <laughs> I somehow managed to climb up the sign. That is fine. That is fair. Okay, go this way. Where to go? Where to go? Frunk? Okay, there we go. Oh, and they're kind enough to give a, a small life mushroom before fighting Bowser. That's kind of them. Oh! Uh, Bowser, you were made into a painting. What? Mario, come to... Wait, Mario you green? Are you going eco now? Anyway, eco Mario. You won't stop me this time. There are way too many stars for you to possibly collect. Now get him, you useless wiggler. And don't come out of the water. Also, there is fish. I mean, sure. You know, I'm just minding my own business, then you two show up. I found this stuff first. It's mine. It's not yours anymore. It's mine. Stop it! This year is my first in my private pool! Get out! Nope. I am taking the star. Fine, fine, fine. Take the stupid star. What? It's actually a key? I don't care. Just take it and never come back. Ever. Well, give me my key. Bra, 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 bra. Okay, that's the key. 
Wait, is that it? Okay, apparently this was just for, for the key and that's it. I mean, I'll take it. I'll take it still. Okay, I need to know. Okay, this is just a... This is just a simple... Whatchamacallit. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, fish. Fish is coming for me. This is just a simple invisible wall. Wait, actually, I was... I just came from there. So wouldn't it be better for me to just go that way instead? Didn't I do that already? Four and five. Yeah, I didn't do four and five yet, so... Fish! <gasps> that was close. Okay, apparently, so four and five are in this section. I mean, do I have to just walk there? Oh, that is clever. That is clever on how they did the uh, that star. Too close, way too close. Okay, what about the other star though? Like that just brings me back to the entrance. Okay. Where is the other one? <laughs> the secret pathway of the lake. I'm sure I sure as heck don't see any other secret pathways. I see a fish, for sure. And if I go down there, let's see. There's wood. There is wood. And there is a fish. And there's nothing here. So maybe I need to swim and find... Find my route in the lake. Somewhere, somehow. This is definitely not the place. This is not it either. So maybe it's going to be on the biggest part of the... of the lake. And this place is huge. Like, all of these levels are, like, super huge. Uh... Maybe down there? Oh, there it is. There it be. Okay, where do I go from here, though? That leads me from here. Then I still need to find... A second entrance. Which might or might not be here? Let's see. Oh, there it is. Wait, is that... is that truly the, the place? Wait, no, 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 that's not the same one. That is not the same star, is it? No, that it, it is. So behind the tower is another one. Because I've seen... I've seen a, a star that was locked in a box. But that I didn't get before. So I wonder. Wow. Okay, so six is over there. You're back. What, what do you miss? 
Uh, me almost getting savagely munched by a fish. Uh, getting getting a key from a poor harmless uh, wiggler, and that's about it. Oh, would that be the behind the the, the tower? And this one goes deep. Yeah, there it is. Gotcha! Okay, with this, I have a void. I should have most... Long lost red switch. That, I do not know where, where that is. Evoy! The EVs become taller, longer. Yevoy. As they always do. Wait, where's the second one? This goes towards the boss, which I don't really want to. <laughs> oh, no worries, Eevee. It gets better. It only gets better. Because you haven't you haven't put the Eevee all the way to the top yet. Huh. Oh, that explains. I see. I see sneaky little little tricks here and there. That's the one. Okay, so how do I get there? Oh, I see. There was some ground that you couldn't normal like you can you can't see that well. Ooh, that was close. There's some ground you can you can see from from the side. Evoy. It's already Eevee, Joe. <laughs> you can change Eevee into Eevee. Wait, what do you mean? What? Okay, now I'm confused. What? That was supposed to be a star! What? I I I might have been bamboozled. Where is the star? Hmm. <laughs> Where is the star? Wait. Wait. We do be having the weep as well. And likewise, the weep, the weep goes all the way to to this direction rather. Goes all the way to the left and whenever he reaches all the way to the left, he pops back out on the other side and continues weeping. The weep is eternal. But I should do I should save the uh, the global coordinates of that of the weep. This way it won't just snap back to to an older position. Because it does that for whatever reason. Also this fish is having the, the time of its life. Weep. Weep. Weep, 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 weep. It's having the time of its life. Weep. But yeah, 
I have tons of, of tiny little channel point commands I, I want to implement as well uh, onto the channel, the, the starting soon screen. I have like tiny little ideas I have left and right that I want to do as well. And I'm, I'm having fun making those, for sure. Okay, I'm the I'm a bit confusion for. I activated this. That gave me access to a box. The other side. The other box was a coin. Like these were coins. Like this was supposed to be a star. Do I have to do this? Question mark? No, that doesn't make sense. What? Where's the star? I don't know. Oh, you flipping little pile of garbage. Ah, it's here. They got me good. Okay, it's right here. It was hidden on the side. Okay, we have every single star in this place. We can get out of here. Well, every single one. There is one type of star we can't collect yet, and that's the... That is the yellow box ones. Unfortunately, we can't collect them until we activate the big yellow switch. Ruh -ruh. I mean, I'm kind of lost, so I think it would be better if I just exit the course. Evoy. But with this, Bowser 1 is come a play a toad. Evoy. Also, Evoy. The yellow transparent boxes? Oh, you found some of them. Don't worry about trying to remember what they are. Once you get all stars in the level and the big yellow switch pressed, Fox Finder will show up to help you find them. Oh, that's, that's good. I'll take it. All right, let's open the door. Oh, hi. I don't have anything to say, really. Shout out to Simple Flips, I guess. Who is Simple Flips? Sopen Flips. Simple Flums. Sloppin' flams. I don't know who they are. But they're all nice. They, 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 they sound like a nice a nice person. Shout out to Simple, though. <laughs> okay. I'm really confuzzled, though. Where do I go? What do I do? Who shall I be? Sample Florps! Sometimes I feel like I'm being watched. But this castle seems safe, so I stay here all the time. The stars hidden in the castle? I have no idea where they are, though I think I saw one in this room somewhere. Really now? A hidden star in this room? Oh, and also that's course 5. No, that's course 6, rather. What do people want with our stars? Oh, they can have 10 times as much power as the regular power stars. I wonder what Bowser plans to do with them. He probably doesn't even know what to do with them all. I need to find course 5. And this needs key 2. This is course 7. People in this town behind the door don't, don't like these star signs. They threw them into the sea as I heard. Don't worry too much about it. They put a map in two locations to make up for it. I mean, that is that is fair to to change up on how the the things feel. Okay, this is. Oh, I see it. I see you over there. That's clever. I like it. How to collect it though is going to be another story altogether. Evoy! No! I was right there! 
Come on, Mikey. It's really hard to gauge where to hit on the wall there. Oh. Come on, let's go. Hit boy. Yeah, I, I know simple flips. I know simple flips. I, no, no worries. I, I know I know the dude. <laughs> well, that was just a skit. <laughs> I discovered it's minus 64 on the hacks because of simple, so... so oh, wait, no. I already talked to that toad. So this is course 7, this is course 8, where in the Blazing Hex is course 5? Yeah. Oh, course 5. Wait, no, wait, yes? No? Yes? No? Okay, this one is course 5. Simple Flips is the reason I found my channel? Really? Really now? Now that is interesting. Like, why, why in particular? Like, do you, do you have any detail on that? Because that, that's actually crazy. Alright. Like I, w I would understand if I if I if I like help discover simple flips to to anybody, but having simple flips like like <laughs> be the reason why people somebody discovered me is is like mind blowing at this at this point. Oh, you decided to watch up crowd control stuff and and found me that way. I see. That's interesting. Oh, by the way, I will definitely be doing some more crowd control. Uh, this week is going to be Mario 64, for sure. But uh, next week, we are going to have two crowd control games. Sonic Adventure 2 and The Binding of Isaac Repentance. So, yeah, that's going to be interesting. Especially since I've never played Afterbirth Plus or Repentance. So, this is going to be like going blind with new items. And with crowd control in my back. <laughs> so that's going to be interesting. Whoa there, Polly. Oh there, lad. Do not go too far. Yeah, that's that's insane. Whoa, 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 whoa. And if I could activate crowd control for these, I would definitely do so. Unfortunately, like most of these, most of these RAM hacks cannot run on, on Bizhawk for the better worse. How many times has Binding of Isaac release, been released now? I think twice, but both version had DLCs, basically. Oh, well, 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 we because like um, Binding of Isaac had I think one or two DLCs, then it was re-released with Rebirth, and then Rebirth had Afterbirth, then there was Afterbirth Plus, and then Repentance. I think that's that's how it it went. For the for the series. Wait, why am I still collecting coins? I'm done with this. Huh. What do I do with this place? Oh, go with the in, the invisible cap over there. Okay, I can't do anything here then. I do have the metal cap so I can do this part. Woo! 
Have they built one Sky Skyrim yet? They have they have crowd control on Skyrim. They have crowd control on Skyrim. Legendary Street Fighter 2. You know what? Street Fighter 2. Like imagine being able to crowd control any kind of fighting game. But like the two people are subject to the crowd control. That would be awesome. Mweep. That would be awesome if you could just crowd control a fighting game. Oh, how many times the game has been really sassy. No, they haven't gone that, that bad. They, they haven't gone that bad. I think this stops at Repentance. Yeah, FFZ has, has a 17 plugin. And some of his animated emotes will be available for subs afterwards. Yes, I have. I have seen I have seen two fish play Street Fighter and a fish plays Pokemon. And that was enlightening to say the least. That was very enlightening. And now you can see 70 stuff. Yay! <laughs> I have a lot of I have a lot of 7TV emotes, so if you're, if you're not subbed and you don't have access to those, like, it's all fine. I, I understand that life can be, can be a bit rough, so this is why I have all of my emotes accessible through 7TV. Gotta move fast. <laughs> oh, a visitor in a small village. That hasn't happened in the well. Oui. You are looking for stars? Think there's one on the roofs here? Huh, maybe. Okay. That was dumb. But how can I reach that roof of there? Long jump? Oh, that's not good enough. Wall jumps? Maybe. Okay, there is one over there. Oh wait, no, there's one over here. And I also then goofed. So I guess I need to go through this way then. Let's try this. Oh, that's how I was supposed to do it. I see. I see how things are. I'll still take that, sir. There's no way this is a second star. <laughs> I knew it. It looks like a star from far, from far away, and then when you get close, it's new. <laughs> that's that's kind of genius. I gotta admit. Like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna verify this again. No whiz. <laughs> Oh no, no, actually from, from here it's still a new woo. Never mind. <laughs> My greed thought this was a star from uh, from afar. But nope, it's a new woo. Definitely debated there. Okay, where am I aiming at? <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> I like how they placed the sign to say, Hey, uh, you might not want to shoot that way. However, you can shoot this way. That's fair enough. Okay, I need to talk to Toad. I need to talk to this Toad. I need to see what they have to say. Nothing happened. Nope. 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 No, nothing. Nothing. There never was a cannon shot. See, I, I'm just back in the cannon. I'm not gonna let a sign dictate my destiny. Yes, true signs. Oh, 
I managed to, to, to get... <laughs> managed to get all the way over there. And then the tree just like... Bonk. Oh no! Vital! What do you send? What do you do? Wait, what? What are you doing, Retro Arch? What? 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 What is going on? Okay? I can't even, like, unload anything here. What? Retro Arch is going bonkers. What the what what the heck? It 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 just crashed my game. That's okay. That's fine. Too many special. Oh, that's something bad. I'm sorry, Vital. I don't need to 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 check Wait. the. Uh... I'll need to check the, the, the bot's commands then. That's not supposed to happen. But dang it, man! <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to check the... Uh... Yeah, I think it's set up in such a way so that you can't spam special characters for... Um... You know those wanna be famous bots? Uh, I thought this was a, a link at first, so this is why I, I was trying to go to go and, and permit you. But then I read the message and was like, what? Too many special characters? Yeah, it's definitely a problem of um of a ratio of character of special characters compared to Love those bots. Yeah, everybody on Twitch loves them. They absolutely do. Whoa. What happened there? You won't. <laughs> well, no, you won't anymore. <laughs> Joe hasn't risen yet. I think they, they went they went a little bit downstairs or rather. <laughs> yeah, too many special characters will will definitely mess up the uh, the bots and and tell them tell it to to just screw you over. You will not catch me this time, Tree. Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to use the the mental cap? Bra 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 bra. Come on. What is this supposed to represent? Like, is this, like, hot, hot ice? No, this is not even the hot ice. Just, oh, I see. I see what you're supposed to do with the, the metal cap. Bonk. Okay, then I'm supposed to go somewhere. Freezer burn, maybe? I'm supposed to go somewhere, 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 somewhere. Where's the somewhere? Where was the somewhere? I was supposed to, I was supposed to go to one place, but then there was nothing. No, what? I'll just wait until this expires and then I'll just swim. It will be faster. It's much faster to, to, to swim than to walk, anyway. Well, where am I supposed to go? What did I activate? Oh, I see. There's things that are activated on the tower. Okay. There's there. 
Now I know where to go. I was so confused. No! I was right there! Come on! It sucks that this water doesn't refresh the, the health either. It's dangerous. It's mighty dangerous. Evoi! Evoi! So many Evois! No! Come on, man! I can't escape the water! Long. It can get longer. 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 There we go. Oh, that leads to this. Interesting. I'll take it. So this is the van the vanish cap course, I would say. This course seems familiar. I've played a course similar to that one, at the very least. Or oh, maybe it's in a, in another Mario Adventure or something like that. Longer! Oh, I'm all the way up here. I don't mind. This place is really rough. Whoa! That was close. Watch it! If you hold the direction of the E button, you will change how this pompous will load you through here. Here, these here are subs, so you won't need to hold anything. If they kill you, then it's on your, your own foot. On you. Warned you. Okay, so. So these bumpers are subs in such a way that I don't need to, to hold anything. Good. I'm okay with not not being killed, but I'm not okay with just being thrown away against an until another bumper this way. <laughs> I don't want to go on the on the on the wee run trip here. Oh, is it the dude that makes the signs? You have trouble finding the switch? Well, I can tell you it's nowhere here. You'll see where the blue glowing pipe is. Go the right way. Somewhere there is there's a green warp hidden. Hmm. I could have sworn I played this, a similar stage in the past. Like is Like I might be the only one that's getting some deja vu out of this? I'm not hundred percent certain I played something similar here. See, that's a that's a, a clever one. Okay, so I'm I'm on, I'm I'm the only one that gets some deja vu out of this. Okay. That's such a great one, the negative emotion field. That's such a great star. I like it. I still need to get my... No! Still need to get the... The red coin out of there. Because that's going to be 100% needed. Well, that was an interesting grab. 
No! You watch Simple Flit do this, does that count? I haven't watched Simple Flit do it, so it's not... It's not something... It's not something I, I should have seen. But I know of it, somehow, some way. I think I know, I think I've, I've seen another streamer play this one. I think it was Oki. Oki Kurume, which was a Mario, Mario, Mario 64 streamer a long, long time ago, but this stopped, unfortunately. Okay. What does this lead me to? Where's this place? I guess you're also trying to find your way uh, to the switch up there. One of these warps should take you there. There are so many. I think I tried them all, but no luck. I feel that I have something to do with the colors of them. Yeah, I've, I'm trying to find the, the red one. Uh, the, the green one, rather. The green switch has the... The green, the green warp has the switch. Also, Evoy. Farewell, Evie. Mission accomplished. Did you really accomplish it, though? Did you really accomplish your mission? Is your mission really accomplished? Okay, 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 okay! <laughs> well, guess I have to recollect all of these red coins, huh? And all of these coins in general. Because this has a... Oh no, this is this is Star 8, I see. You accomplished your mission, but not not sure about the mission. Well the EV might come back, you know. The EV might definitely definitely might come back. What if you pet it a little bit more? What if you went further beyond? Alright. Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm, I'm all for schmoving, but schmoving on ice is illegal. Shouldn't be able to do that. There we go. <laughs> you shouldn't drink while you sleep. <laughs> That's actually dangerous. Please don't do that. That's just dedication. <laughs> I mean... There's different kinds of dedication, I would say. I almost had the uh, the red coin here. That's a shame. There we go. Was there a sixth one up there? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, Joe, just just as a, as a reminder, please do not eat the glass. <laughs> glass is not good either. I wonder if you can even digest glass as a, as a whole. I'm not even sure. But even then, you shouldn't digest glass. Just as a precaution.
Um, 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 um. I don't think that's better, Evie. <laughs> I don't think that's a better way to consume, to consume tea. You don't die just glass? Yeah, of course not. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I was supposed to end up. <gasps> I messed up something here. Ah, that's fine. I'll get back to... Ooh, that's... Ooh. That's going to be a hard part. Oh, I made it. Can't believe I made that one first try. Oh, no. What have you done? What have you done? And also, where is that arm coming from? That, I, I, I don't think I don't think anybody's asking the right question here. Where is that arm coming from? Oh, come on. Like the mint green. I think I might I might have gone lost in somewhere around around all of his arms, these bots, and these tees, I guess. And the candies, I guess? But then again, candy is part of Christmas, so. If we Did he Eevee work properly or not? I wonder. You know what? I'll redeem one just for you. Oh, yep, it does work. It does work. Okay, there we go. That's the one I wanted. So this leads to the blue switch. And there's also a... Star right below me. I like this monkey, monkey ball esque setup. That's a good one. Now you know exactly where my mouse is. Where would be my mouse then? Where is my mouse? Oh, I thought I could, I could make that jump. Dang it! Wee! we I still need to make the third level. I said I, I would I would make the third level uh, through a channel point redemption, a, a channel point challenge, but I've I've yet to do it, and I will. I definitely will. Okay, so through here now. Wahoo! Oh, where am I? Oh, that's sweet. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, I see. I'm supposed to collect all of the secrets. The secret coins up there. Well, if I was somebody intelligent, I would actually go for... this coin first. And then I'll collect this coin after. And then I'll collect this one, and then this one, and then I'll do this, and I'll collect the, third, the fifth one over there. Like somebody intelligent, for once. Who would ever do the, uh, the swiggity swoosh thing for all rest of eternity?
Everything is coming together. I'm nowhere is vital. Nothing is coming together for me. I'm as lost as ever. <laughs> Okay, where is the star though? Oh, right over there. Almost 50 stars in 3 hours. They still have 3 more hours to go. So we might collect like 100 if we're fast enough. I roughly estimated like 70 stars per stream, so... Depends on how this... How we're going to go. Whoa, 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 whoa! That was kind of rude. Also. Oh, hello there. That's a nice little... Little dinosaur here. Hello, you. You're kind of beautiful. You know that? Alright. Now that we have done our positive reinforcement for the day... Let's... Do this. Whoop! Oh, whoops. I might have goofed. Oh, no. I went the wrong way. Thankfully, I think I can just reappear top on the top of the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, but I have to redo all of this. No! 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 Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I don't, I don't like having to redo all of that each and every time, though. Wait, have I gone this way? Have I done all the things for this way? Not even sure. I feel like I've done something here and then I just fell into the oblivion and I was like, no. Yeah, I think I fell through here. Oh, yeah, no, I definitely remember that. I've done that. But this spot is... Oh, now available to me because I have access to the... To the invisible cap. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do the thing. What is... What is that music? <laughs> I didn't recognize the music at all. Do I need to go, to go fast to get here? Watch out, that bumper will send you flying very far. If you want to grab the star, you need to time your fall. How? You can cancel out of it by pressing B or Z midair. Okay. Oh, that was a bit too far away. No! I had too much back speed. I just went fast, but backwards. So I just went saf? Yeah, I just went saf. Every, every, everything goes saf with me. Okay, so, time to redo all of that, because we haven't had enough fun in our lives. This, this area is a little bit slippery, too slippery for my, for my own taste. Well, to be honest, it's, it's a nice stage, so of course it's slippery, but still. By the way, I've seen something interesting on Twitter as well, um... Not the, not the uh, the four consoles thing. It was something about Super Mario World is an awful game with amazing controls, and Super Mario 64 is an amazing game with awful controls. And I'm like, mm, eh, on both of these stakes. 
Because the only bad thing about Mario 64 in terms of its controls is the camera. The camera in Vanya 64 is horrible. Like, when you've played drum hacks for, for as long as I... As I did, and then you go back to Vanilla 64, the camera is just unbearable to deal with. <sighs> Don't do this to me, please. Like these slope sometimes. Okay. I'm gonna be sent away! Right here. Let's go. Okay. So that one is collected. I wonder what, what it says on the top of the sign. Oh, just arrows. I mean, that's fair. Trying to tell me where it is. Yeah, all the love to you as well, Evie. <laughs> slopes, man. Slopes. <laughs> okay, we still have two things to do. One is the yellow box we cannot acquire, and the second one is node blocks of the octagon rings. Octagon. O octagon. Now that is an that is an old meme. Good lord. I, I used I used to listen a to a lot of uh, of remixes with octagons, with Jack Black and whatnot. That was some time. That was a long time ago, actually. Wait, where am I going? This is not where I'm supposed to go. Where is it? No, this is not where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go to the slide thing. Where is this, like, thing? Good question. Oh, it's right here. Why is keep forgetting the location of the, the slide? Whoa! The bomb just decided to... <laughs> to launch me right through this. But yeah, now nowadays I, I actually listen to normal music. No, no worries. <laughs> that was still interesting to to see like the the different effects and visual. I was trying to talk to the sign. That, that's interesting to see like the different effects and visual effects that they can add into videos. Like sometimes these videos can get pretty crazy in the editing, and I'm really interested in in understanding. Um how they work in general because i want i want to make my my videos overall more fluid more like active because sometimes i can just be like well yeah i'm just gonna be i'm just going to be talking to the camera and there's no, nothing interesting going on uh so i really need to i really need to learn more about visual effects in general Okay, I need to, to make sure that I'm aiming at the right thing. <laughs> okay, there we go. Whew. This one was kind of scary. It still kind of is right now, though. Okay, there we go. There's going to be the last star for this location because I'm still lacking the the yellow cap. Well, the yellow cap, the yellow switches. So yeah. This is it for this location. But now that means I have access to the vanish cap in almost all stages. So there's a chance that this level might be fully completable, save for the yellow box. 
Let it go and enjoy the wind. What? What? Oh, I see. A. I like it. I like this one. Whoosh. Whoop, 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 whoop. There we go. There we go. <laughs> and Evie, Evie has, has hugged Joe, and Joe is now, is now like, oh, <laughs> how dare you? How dare you give me a hug? What have I done to you? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I need, I need to get the cap and get up there. Ooh, that was close. Please, please be fast enough. Oh, let's go. Oh, wait. No, I don't want it. I don't want it anymore. Wait, what? Wait, no, no. No, actually, no, I do want it. Never mind. No! I forgot that there was a hole. He stole some candy. Steal all of Joe's candies. All of them. And then hug him afterwards because he will need it. Wait, I haven't done this part here. Yeah, I definitely haven't done this part. That's like an ODC-ish. Uh, that's bad. I mean, if you can do that, there's no point. There's no real point of doing the over platforming. <laughs> okay, that kicks you out of the tower. Good to know. So this like Odyssey was a, a really, really, really good Mario free, well, 3D Mario game. Like as much as 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 some of the people read really don't like the uh, like how how the moons were treated and whatnot, I still think like the um, the overall uh, the overall game is fantastic. The movement options are easily one of the best the best in. If not the best in all of Mario. Like pulling off some moves with the with the cap is insane. And Mario DC 64, for example, was was a great demonstration as to how you could pull off some some crazy things with that with that in mind and still make it super fun to play. Wait, I've been here already. Oh, but not here. Yup. There we go. But yeah, Mario DC was great overall. I want I want to replay it more. And also, there is there is apparently a a Paper Mario ROM hack in the works, like a full blown Paper Mario ROM hack in the works, with new characters, new story, new levels, new everything. And I'm really really interesting in interested in seeing how that fares. Okay, yeah, it's that one.
Man, I really want... I really want to play the, to play it. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try to move as fast as we can. We didn't see that. We didn't see any of that. No, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare. Uh, that scared me. That could have been that could have been just a trip back to to the castle this way. There we go. Okay, so I need to find the, the switch now. There we go. And now I jump far enough so that I don't drop into oblivion. There we go. And now it's bouncing time, baby. Well, it's bouncing time again. <laughs> Come on. There we go. That was a tougher one to do, but not that bad. I was just I was just bad is all. I need to get I need to get good. Or gooder. Any one of the two would work. Section 5 is cleared though, so. Now, we need to head to section 6. Wait. Oh no, that only requires one star to go back into this course. I see. This is good to be able to go back into certain courses right from the, the hub. What's this place for? Is this, is this like a golf course? Like it sounds like a golf course and there's a level up there. Let's see. What is this place? Seaside Golf Castle. Yeah, it is. Oh, that is nice. That's kind of nice. I like it. What is... Excuse me. What is that thing on top of my head supposed to be? It looks like a whale, but... Also like an elephant? Is that... I think that's supposed to be like a whale. Alright, though. Hydration acquired. I'm going to make like the uh, the game uh, a little bit more louder because the uh, music is quite quite quiet. I I faced through the frunk. I I became one with the frunk. I am one with the frunk. Respect me. Um, so... A whole three. I'm kind of tempted to just save the bob bomb and throw it right into the hole. Also, Evoy. Oh, come on, that didn't work. Is that no ball I could use like to make? I wonder. There's no way. There's no way there's no... Okay, that was kind of risky. I knew this was sand, but I didn't know if it was quicksand or not. 
And given it's bunker, one of the one of the worst things in existence in terms of golf. Well, say for the OV, for the OB. Well, sometimes bunkers can be even worse than. Okay, so can't talk to the signs either. Hmm. Oh, I can definitely walk on, on that sand. Okay, that's... That's actually kind of fun. Combining the node blocks and the bumpers that way, that's... It's actually fun to do. What, am I going over so I can just go under or inside there afterwards? What's 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 going on with this place? I'm so confused. I'm so confuzzled. Whee! I mean <laughs> I'll take the star. As as confused as I am, I will never say no to star. Oh. So this leads to a switch in which I can reach from this point here. This place is weird, man. Okay, then through here I can get inside here and get the switch then I need to go down there oh I see yep 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 this opened the the star location star number two collect it We will have to come back to each and every single stage when we get the yellow cap, though. Well, the yellow switch, rather. So we could technically just ignore certain stars and come back to them later on. But, uh, Whoever leaves stars behind... I'm the kind of person that would normally do the 100 coins at the start of a stage. Whoever would leave a star behind? Okay, so get. <laughs> okay, so the first star is to just get to hold one. Okay, so right here? I mean, I got to hold one. I can't even see where hole one is at all. Is this hole one? No, this is hole two. What? Oh, it is a whale. No! Ah! Okay, I see what, what I need to do to get to hole one. It is all clear in my mind. It wasn't before, but now it is. Wait, I'm not in the place I was I thought I was in. I don't know what the box was for, but I'm gonna leave it here. Wait, actually, I want to try something. Come on, Lucky 2. Throw something at me. No! Okay, maybe I can push it here. No! It doesn't work as a whole! I've been scammed! This isn't golf! I'm out of here! 
What do you mean I can't just I can't just push things into the hole and and call it a day afterwards? This is not the golf I, I lived with. Okay, where is the whole one though? I am lost already. Ah, there it is. So then I need to drop down here. There we go. I thought I was going to do a triple into a dive. That surprised me when when Luigi decided, oh no, let's just let's just, you know. Do a jump kick instead. What? I somewhat think I was not supposed to do that. Yeah, there you go. Alright! I got a birdie. I don't think I don't think the number of jumps would even count for the par here. That would be interesting though. Like making a golf game that is like a platformer, but instead of using things like uh, like shots, you would you would use jumps. So th there there would be like some parkours and whatnot that you would have to to go through, and you would have to use at the least amount of jumps possible. That would be kind of interesting to try, as a concept. Pressing the least amount of buttons to get to from point A to point B. Of course, you can you can move all you want. You just don't want to be pressing any buttons, or at least the least amount of buttons possible. I think that would be super interesting as a concept. Oh no. Who needs platforms anyway? <laughs> Who needs platforms anyway? All right, so what am I getting here? Mm hmm that's it, that's it. I mean, that doesn't make me drop or anything, so... Okay. Let's go. That was that was kind of easy. It's slow but certain. What have what have I not collected yet? This one star over there. Uh, and I don't see any other stars I can't collect here. Right? Yeah, that seems to be it. That seems to be it. What's the box for? Oh, coins! I'll take those. Oh yeah, no, 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 no! I don't want to go here! I truly, truly do not want to go here. I want to go over that path now. I mean, if this is going to bounce me all the way up, I'll take it. It's kind of crazy, like, the, the uh, amounts of blocks that were added into 
into Mario 64 overall, even if it doesn't mean much in terms of... Uh, of gameplay like these sand, sand blocks. Like, it doesn't really mean much in terms of gameplay because crumbling platforms and whatnot already kind of existed in in Mario before, but these, these like, are kind of fun to, to have overall. Okay. I don't know where I landed, but I landed here, and I'm so sad I don't have the yellow switch. Okay, may I wall jump here is six. So I need uh, to find the six, the, the, the six star. Oh, well, pfft. that was a dumb, a dumb kick. But yeah, slowly and surely, we get to... We're reaching like the, the amount of, of stars I thought I was going to, to have at first. Okay, so this is six, apparently. May I wall jump here? Is there something about here? Oh, yeah, indeed. Indeed it is. Hello. That was a nicely high hidden star here. Like, no clear indication, just... You can wall jump here, and that's it. But it's still something you have to find. It's, it's like those, those, kind of, those little secrets I'm, I'm kind of fond of. So that's pretty much it for the section. That's that was kind of fast. That was kind of fast. Straightforward, not too hard. Kind of easy actually, but the um, it was fun to go through. And I'm always a sucker for for golf courses. So. <laughs> hmm. Is this like a CT stage? It is. There's a lot of city things here. But then again, I prefer that to a nice stage. <laughs> I prefer that to ice stages. Oh, that is cool. That is... That is actually cool. Oh, drink crazy bar. Nice. So in order in order to get to I'm already lost by the way. <laughs> um Okay, so in order to get to the first star, I need to go all the way following this road, turn to the left, go under the bridge. Then turn to the left. Turn to the right. Okay. So many EVs. Yeah. Lots of EVs. Look at this poor Cooper running for his life. Not even hurting Luigi. I don't know who this dude is, but I like this right. Clipboard game store, nice. Okay, so... I go through here, then I... A pies of pies. Simple flips mod. <laughs> I love... <laughs> I love the buff face on too, on too simple. It's perfect. It's too perfect. 
Trison Cub, Lint's, oh, Pants Bags, Ochi's Wheels, Epic Flame Oil. Yeah, the rest of them, the rest of them we've seen, but man, I had not noticed the, uh, the buff face onto, onto Simple. It's too perfect. Is that, is that, is that how it's going to end whenever it's going to reach the, to continue the Toad arc? Okay, so the first star is around here. Whoa there! Whoa, 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 whoa. Let me collect those first. Rude. Come on. First try didn't even get hit. That was easy. <laughs> I like how Luigi was like, <laughs> slightly going to the side while while the thing was was still going. <laughs> the camera just still just still stays still. Let's call them. Uh, where is star number two? Apparently, there's a race going on in this place. Oh, that might be it. That might be star number two. Wait, no, it doesn't make sense. This place is really complex. There we go. That's easy coins. I should kill the lucky two, it's five free coins. Come here. Come here. Lucky two! So is there like a blue switch, a blue box somewhere? Because this is what it feels like. A blue box that is right nearby, a, a, a bumper that leads you straight into, into that place and that gives you a star. That's how it feels like. It could be wrong. It could definitely be wrong, but that's how it feels like to me. But before that, let me collect the store. And that's 63. I think in order to have like the to be on the on to have a third of the stars, I think I need 72 stars. Yeah, that leads you straight onto the blue box here. I'm guessing there's something that would lead you straight into there. Yeah, I can't watch on this. This is way too large. What? 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 Hmm. Oh, that is interesting an interesting way to deal with the uh Okay Oh this was an actual star <laughs> I thought for some reason that this was like a bad star that was going to just catch me and just 
off to the side. I thought this wasn't this wasn't a real star at all. But it was. Uh, still liking a blue switch though. Well, a blue a blue cap. Where could it be? So I've been I've been scouring this place. Okay, so I found the <laughs> I found the the egg lab repairs yellow box, but I've yet to find still the, the the blue one. I found one blue one that was locked, for sure. But that blue one requires a blue switch to get the blue switch, so feels dumb. Do I need to get it from the start? Maybe that's it. One race, go! Can you feel the fine fine? Found I would have had it. Ah, that sucks. I win, you lose. Yes, I know. Well, that thing is now locked to me for the rest of eternity. Well, at least until I reset the stage. Or I die. Even one of them. But the rest of eternity is more. has more weight. Onto its shoulders. Oh, there it is. Stupid little box. Wait, what do you mean I can't get... Oh, I see. That's fair. That's fair. That was that was a nice little running segment for this 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 thing. Oh, I see. De it's deja vu. I knew. I knew I've heard this tune before. It's deja vu. I knew I heard this before. No! Oh well. I lost. Dang it! This Koopa is fast. I wonder what what shortcut I can take to 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 overtake it. Cause he's fast. He's dying, they dying for them fast. Like, look at him. Okay, if I didn't if I didn't bonk, I think I could have made it. Let's see. I think the deja vu would have been better with this one. But then again, can you feel the sunshine is also Just barely. Just, just, just barely. Yeah. 
I wonder how how I could optimize my my speed here. But that's a challenging race. I like it. Hey, there we go. Close, close. Buff. 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 I use the vest. Here. Uh, I've just trained this door. I need to train. Alright, I'll take it. I mean, this Koopa is like super duper fast. That was that was a very interesting racing section for sure. Okay, I'm missing four, six, and then that's it. And all of them just requires vanish cap, so I can get all of them. So one of them is like going on the rooftop, so... Something about wall jumps will help me, I guess. Wait. Huh. What's going on here? Hmm. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Get out of here, stupid like it too. I have nothing to do with you. What? Yeah, I don't think I can just wall jump through these. Uh, where can I go? I would kind of love to go all the way over there. That's not what I, what I can do, unfortunately. Yeah, even if I go through here, this is not gonna help. Ah, oh, come on, grab it! No, you can't do it! There we go. So what's up here? Oh, what's up here? Uh, well, up here is just a couple of things that I don't really need right now. But this section here is something I haven't done yet, so might as well do it, right? Void harm police. What? Not harm the police. They're just people doing their own job. And... Excuse me. First, I'm getting this one out. Second, what the heck is this? Is this supposed to be like a policeman of some sort? <laughs> that is... Awkward. That is weird. I mean... Nothing against the police, but still, doesn't have that much of a place in this in this game. Can I go over the? There is some. Oh wait, no, that's where I was before. So there was one that was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to be. To be extra, extra sneaky. But I don't know exactly how to get there. Well, at least, at least I don't understand how to get there at all. 
And that star is right here. And of course... Mm, that's fire. Just for that purpose. Let's see. Oh, that's, that's sneaky. <laughs> that's actually sneaky. <laughs> that's sneaky, Vicky. I can't do it yet. Yeah, I need to, I need that to wear off. Come on. <laughs> All right, and that should be it for the section. So if this course seven is completed. What about course eight? Yeah, so far this this um this entire rum hack has been wonderful. Like it flows, it flows super well. It it runs well, and like the the entire stages are well a little bit blocky at times. They are teeming with life. Like it's 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 full of life and and well made overall. It's not it's not badly running either. Like it's it's beautiful. And the good thing is that you can also continue like playing the game and continue like getting the stars whenever you feel like it. Like you don't you don't get booted. And you don't lose time waiting for stars each and every time. This is something I really like about run hacks these days, like at least the more modern run hacks. Is that it don't make, make you waste time. You have fun playing the game and that's it. Oh, hello there, the candy canes. Oh, let me tell you a little secret. You see, there's a pair of yellow ones. In the middle of them is an invisible box with a star. I mean, I'll take, I'll take the, the hint. Uh, though, how in the blazing hex am I supposed to get out of here? Like this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you please just get out of here? Thank you. And that one went far, far down. Okay. Is this like Tetris, Tetris shaped chocolates? That would be fun. Okay, I'll... Oh yeah, it is. Determino shaped chocolates. That's cute. <laughs> Ooh, that's less cute all of a sudden. Why is that fire on top of chocolate? You're going to melt all that away, man. There we go. With a like safe us. Yas. Oh, I thought this was a bumper, like a huge bumper that would lead me to someplace else. That's fine. I can do the jumps myself! Did I actually cheese a... Oh no, this is just a... A random thing. Oh, the little bob bump. Hello! <laughs> oh, that's it. <laughs> No, no way. You have all the texts. Hello. Yep, never mind. There's only that text. That's it. So apparently there's two candy canes. In the middle of them, there's an invisible box of a star. Wait, no, that's not candy canes. 
Wie is dan dat kijk ik eens? Ja, yeah, this place is teeming with life. And love and a lot of other things. It's playing these kinds of levels that that just makes you makes you want to play some more. Makes you makes you want to just go and go and go and go and go and go and play again and again and again. But yeah, uh, on my Minecraft, I actually managed to, to to get a little bit further into where I was. Um, I had like a huge trouble <laughs> getting the... No, what call it? Ugh. That was rude. Into getting some stuff in from Astro Sorcery. And I tried my best to to get it to, to get like crystals and whatnot but that got super unlucky like normally the crystals are supposed to double up at a one to six chance like so something like 15 percent something something so some somewhere around 15 percent chance of actually doubling up by throwing them into into a puzzle of starlight I threw up an entire an entire tank that had 300 buckets worth of starlight. I didn't get a single crystal that doubled up. So I, I'm I'm thinking there's something that must be up in Ceftex uh, Astro Sorcery because I I usually don't have that bad of a luck dealing with these. Huh. I need the mill cap. But yeah, I struggled a lot with, with actually getting getting my, my crystals doubled because I, I truly needed that as well. Okay, I need it for here. Oh, never mind. I see. No pun intended. That was... That's cute. I, I, I like the concepts of this stage. And what it stands for. I suck at it. I suck at the entire stage. But I like what it stands for. Oh, hello? Getting coins in these places, though, really sucks. Especially in places where you have bullies, because you have to fight for those, for those coins. And even then, sometimes you don't get the coin at all. The coin just goes like, whoop! And you never see it again. Thankfully, these coins have been pretty generous. Uh, you know what? I could collect that. That's three 16 coins and a star, so... Or wait, maybe maybe there's no 80 coin in this, in this level. Hmm. I'll have to... I'll have to recheck whenever possible. Yeah, no, there's no 80 coins, so I'm fine with that, actually. It's red coins instead. Man, the pan flutes... Ah, come on! The pan flute actually makes me miss Klonoa. 
Clunula was such a fantastic platformer on the PS1. Apparently they tried to make a, a Wii version of the game, but the Wii version was like in... Are you flipping kidding me? Stop it! The Wii version was like a 3D version of it, which didn't make sense because uh, the whole charm of the game was it being in 2.5D. This looks insane because it's actually pretty good. Like, it's really fun overall, but the Charvag is definitely a problem. <laughs> also, hey there, Alina. How are you doing? How is the things? This is... This is the whole chocolate, like, cake place. This is... this is cute. Only the Charvag doesn't have the, the place here. Like, its own place here. But the rest is actually cute. And I died for my own sins. Like, this entire place is, is beautiful. Things are pretty good. Trying to relax such a stressful day. I understand that. I'm trying to I'm trying to relax as well a little bit because the uh, the entire month is going to be pretty pretty stressful to me. Uh, not because of the streams in themselves. The streams are actually the direct relaxing part. It's all of this the after work I do have to put after the streams that makes me go a little bit. Uh, but yeah. Okay, where am I? Oh, star free. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh no. Oh no. I'm just I'm just going to, to, to not see what I just saw. Easy fix, don't stop string. Unfortunately I can't afford to do that. Um, if I if I could just do if I could just make my own life by just by not stopping streaming, the um, I would have done that a long time ago. You think the cap it at eighty at forty eight hours anyway? I don't mind. Like I would I would just pop it at forty eight hours, then just relaunch it instantly. It's not that hard to do. But yeah. The prime is that is on Twitch in itself. If you if you only stream, like if I had, so hear hear me out. If I had somebody to edit my moments on stream while I was still streaming, so somebody that could just take my my vods directly, download them, and just edit them on the fly while I'm still streaming and doing the things, I would definitely do that. Like this is definitely doable. But um. The problem is, I can't, um, I can't rely on only Twitch as a as a, as a revenue model. Like I can't I can't live off of only Twitch. So you would offer, but you have zero editing experience. No worries. I am I am a part when it concerns editing as well. Like the the, the few edi videos I've edited onto the channel. I think we have a, we have an explanation YouTube, right? Yeah, there you go. So the the few videos I have edited onto onto YouTube, um, I have zero experience out of editing other than these. So yeah. So I understand. I understand. Uh, Literally next to nothing in terms of editing videos. I just know the bare basics and that's it. <laughs> Alright. Hello there. I feel very hungry. I got here with my Bepsu. So I could drink it. With some like cuboids. But alas. They are too big to fit into the Bepsu. I got. Oh, uh. <laughs> Bep. <laughs> I would 
drink some of that. <laughs> Bep. Okay, uh, okay. What the heck is this tower? What the heck is this nightmare I'm seeing here? have much more to give though. Fortunately, we don't need the 80 coins. That's one of the things I was fearing about the stage. Oh, huh. hello. Hello there. So I can't do anything much here. What am I missing? So I'm missing star 4, the delicious secret of the kings, which we know where to find. Pop in my no pop star juice, which requires the mail cap. Can't blow out candles, that requires the vanish cap, and that's it. So... We need to get to the candy canes. But yeah, the most important part about growing on as a content creator or as a streamer overall is to create content that is not gaming in general. So I think it's right here. Yeah, there you go. So the most important part about about creating content as a gaming creator is to not stream. If you if you're streaming as a as a gaming creator, you're well as a smaller creator at least, you're spending your time off and off. You'd be better off like just playing a game and then recording it onto YouTube, editing it properly, and then just have like the proper moments done and gone properly and whatnot. If you're just streaming onto Twitch to a smaller audience, like I am doing right now, um, you wouldn't grow that well. Though in my case, my goal is for... For myself and you to discover new games. Like to discover new ways to play Mario 64, for example. There we go. What? That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> I just I just wanted to come back to, to the stage. That's alright. That's all fine. Alright, now I need to find course 6. Can't blow out the candles. Correct. <laughs> Definitely. I got majorly and severely wrecked. Can you please grab the flipping thing? Can you just climb up? Jeebus. Oh, it's not even here. Where's star six? Oh, right over there. Okay. Okay, so if I go up here... <laughs> okay, so I think I can go down there first. Then just kick these walls to get to where I need to be. There we go. Then for here. There we go. That was easy. I became the flame of your life. That little spark that will make you happy. Happy. All right, uh, where do I go next? Because I've done everything but the wing cap and wait. Apparently, there's the wing cap in this stage. I 
Apparently there's the wing cap in this stage and I haven't, I haven't found it. So I guess this is going to be my... My home then. Where could it be? No! Can stay here for all I care. My goal isn't you. Don't go. Actually, no. Go. Go. I don't care about you. Go. Go and race alone. <laughs> okay, we should be good this way. Come on. Oh, this is an invisible wall. Okay, that's that explains things. I'm still missing the red cap, though. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't oo a man this way. You're not allowed to. Ubu. Brower. Brower. Why did you have to die this to me? Oh, there it is. Okay, so how do I reach here? There's like a super big central tower there. So I think I have to go inside here with the the blue switch. I see. Okay, so then from here, instead of going to the right, I need to go to the left. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go. We are both invisible and in metal. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Woo! Oh wait, this leads to course 15. That is interesting. Why would this lead to course 15? That's going to be kind of a pain. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a pain. Oh, there we go. Never mind, that was kind of easy. Yum. should be illegal. <laughs> that moon should be illegal. <laughs> Somebody just tossed Brody to fine for this one. Good laws. <laughs> So, 
Oh, that's interesting. So in order to get to course 15, you need all 150... Well, not all. That's absolutely not the case. All is absolutely dumb. Uh, you need 151 stars and at least 7 yellow star boxes. That's going to be interesting. So in order to, to be able to at least finish the game, I'd say you will need 151 stars. No! Oh well, let's try to collect as much as we can. I messed up real bad, but that's fine. Hey, friend of Bobomb, what do you say? Heck, that moon looks, looks like it has seen better days. I guess it has to do with that rainbow ray pulling at it. Maybe it's sucking? I don't know, I don't feel like going up to that tower. It scares me. It scares me. I mean... If you've seen, bro, if you've seen that, move, that moon's face, I think you'd be, you'd be right in being scared. <gasps> no! That's fine, that's there. Everything is fine. Everything is okay. Et voy. Next time, next time you use the Evoi, look upright. Because the Evoi does the Evoi things. Can I reach this from here? Yeah. All right, -o. This is fun as always, though. Like I'm, I'm always having a blast playing through, playing through our max overall. Sometimes it can get quite tough and slash or frustrating, but it's still very fun to play. Oh, wind! Hello there, wind. Oh, goodbye, Wind. Oh, hello there, Wind. Oh, this is... Mm. This is bad. I can't collect those coins anymore. Or can I? Okay. I collected the coins. This is dangerous. Only one HP. <laughs> this was quite the danger. Because these things can shoot instantly if you're bad like if you if your luck is bad enough. They have like a certain logic to it. If you come close to them but they can't shoot, they keep their charge in, and the next time you come close to them, you get the full source. That's lots of coins. I'll take those. Hmm. No! I didn't want to press B! <laughs> this stage is gonna be hard. I need to find where the, uh, the coins are in general. Oh, by the way, I have all caps now. I should be able to, go, to come back afterwards to, to clean all of the yellow boxes and the other stars I was missing. That's nice. That's cool. Oh, there are red coins. So I won't need... Ah, uh, no, never mind. There's red, there's red coins and 80 coins. That sucks. I thought I was safe. 
after the right coins. Unfortunately, that doesn't exclude the 80 coins. Ooh, that's, that's well kind of suck. Okay. Wait, what did I activate? What did I activate? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, right over there. Okay. That gives me a couple of coins. I might, I might as well try. The more coins I can gather before the uh, blue, blue, blue coin thing, the more this, the better this is going to be. Well, if I can remember where the, the blue coin switch was to begin with. <laughs> Which is a tall order, considering my memory. Please don't be trolled. Please don't be trolled. Please don't be trolled. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes these boxes can hold some enemies. And I really, really don't want any of that. None of that nonsense, please. Okay, let's try warping here and see what's going on. Hey, wanna get this started the easy way? Let me show you how to set the camera for it. Grab a wing cap and start flying. Press L meter and rotate the cam outside. Yes, you should look through the glass so it's kind of 2D. If you walk back up here, the camera will start this way. If you fly again, so give it a go. Reset it back with L once you're done here. Huh. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand the point of that. Huh. Maybe I don't do it the right way. with it. So I think I need to go and fly under the thing then I need to bounce on the, the lava pad straight onto the star afterwards. That's rough to do man. But yeah, this is made in such a way that it's supposed to be like 2D-esque. There we go. There we go. That's it. Woo! That was that was kind of a kind of a tough one to do. Not that hard to do because you can you can retry, but it's still like challenging to do overall. have three right no I don't have three so let's let's get to the summit then <laughs> no okay that's good Yeah, I can't collect these two coins. That was way too risky of life. 
However, what I can do now is I can dismount from here. There's also plenty of coins here, so for now I'll just I'll just do this. I can go back down if need be, so it's not too bad. And there's plenty of coins to to be gathered. I think this should be a 10 coin. <laughs> Mario decided to have like a sudden boost on <laughs> on the end of that of that platform. That was flipping scary. Never again, please. Okay. No! The wind! The wind! Oh. Intel most internal screaming dot mp3. Uh. I hate this so much. Why must there be wind? It blows! Ha ha ha! I had my own soul with this one. I'm sorry, people. Together, together the 80 coins, right? Yeah. I thought I would be safe, but I am not. Yeah, I'll definitely collect the... Oh, was there coins in there? I don't remember. I think so? Maybe? Maybe not? Doesn't matter, I can I can check. Oh yeah, there, there were. There are five coins at the end of that thing. So I have to redo it, unfortunately. It's not that hard to do, but... <laughs> Bulk. You have to understand, like, how the, uh, the controls work in this, in this place. It's a little bit weird, because you don't follow exactly the... Uh... too high so pressing pressing left and right doesn't matter too much you have to press up and down to <laughs> you have to press up and down to to do to the thing But if you go too high, you can't do it. So I'm, I'm trying to gauge exactly how much speed I need in the first place. But if I don't have enough, like if I don't tip, dip like low enough, I will bonk into the, the thing. So I really don't want that to happen. There we go. There we are. This way, I'll collect the five coins that are here, and I will never have to do it again. Hopefully. Ooh, that was a risky jump. Like, why wind? Why wind here? I know it's mountains, and mountains have wind, but... Please. This is not good for my heart. Hmm. Ok, 
Okay, I'll take damage here. That's okay. The coins will replenish them for me. As long as I can collect as much coins as possible, it's not too bad. Thirty-nine. I still need forty-one more. Hopefully with these two, that's going to be making it 54, but seeing how things are. Okay, there you go. Collected it the right way. Yeah, there's no real way to climb onto this, this section of the, the mountain. It's really hard. You have to do it this way, otherwise you can do it. Like, I like how the sign is placed to the left, just barely enough so that you can't see it for when, for when you try to jump the first time. <laughs> At least I have this stupid star on. What? What do you mean I can't take shelter in the air? Produce, produce, produce. You disappoint me, son. Okay, at the very least, I can get the heck out of here. The pressure when you have like a certain amount of... of uh... Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? Where am I going? The pressure when you have like a certain amount of, of coins on your on your wallet is 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 there. The pressure is here. It's looming. It's watching. It's lurking. They don't like it. Uh, where was the pipe that had like all of those coins, all of those juicy juicy coins? That's where the switch was. I already got that. I think there was five coins here. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, but that kind of sucks. Actually, no, that's kind of good. Never mind. And I missed almost every single one of them. <laughs> Here I am trying to get to this place to be able to get the, the easy easy 80 coins and I miss every single blue coin. That hurts. But fortunately we will not have to redo this again. Ah, finally done with this one. Okay, so. Wait. There's something. There's something here. Excuse me, there is something here. <laughs> what? There's something invisible right there. What's happening? I don't know what that is, but apparently there is... There is, there is something mysterious watching, looming over us. Waiting for us to drop our guards and then all of a sudden just pounce. I would have been pretty mad if I... If I bonked on that and went straight down the... <laughs> straight down the... The hall. I would have been real mad on that one. <laughs> okay, but that is good. We're slowly, slowly catching up with uh, with the stars here on the wing cap stage. The start was rough. Though. Oh, this is not gonna make it. Yeah, not even close. If I had enough of a momentum to start with, maybe not with the what I started with. 
That was pretty bad. So I collected star 1. Now I need star 2. Indigo says hi. Indigo? Do I have to go like all the way to this section over there? Is this what it's saying by Indigo says hi? Indigo go. <laughs> Why do I keep bonking onto something invisible here? What's supposed to be here? I'm supposed to not have anything invisible anymore. Okay, so here requires a wing cap. Okay. Wait, what? Um, 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 okay, there we go. That is an interesting flying section, to say the least. It almost makes me think of, um, oh, whatchamacallit, Spyro. Like, so the, uh, the, the sections where you have to fly and then you have to just punch some things and do some of the stuff and then fly again. I like Spyro overall. That was that was a really fun trilogy to do. I'm always always grateful from the um, the Imagerian that gave me uh, the the keys to both Crash trilogy and Spyro trilogy. I'm really grateful for that. Do I really need to go that way? Don't think so. Okay, that leads to one. That leads to seven and two. Well, good thing I caught that, that lava fall because otherwise <laughs> I would have been dead. Wait, do I have? No, I didn't do do. I, I didn't do do. I didn't do two. Oh, fair enough. Actually, that looks like an, an awesome, an awesome wall kick level. I'll take up the challenge. Ah, oh, dang it! That is an awesome wall kick challenge. Wow. That's a really interesting one to do. You don't want to be to be to be jumping too high or too low. Wow, that was awesome. This is the first time I've actually done um, a walking like that. A walking, a wall kick. Okay, will I make it? Oh yeah, easy. So... Indigo says hi is done. Now there's only Secret Path of the Reds. Wait. What? I've already collected that? I've already collected Vias. Oh, maybe not. Actually. Reds around the mountain was the one. Okay, so I need I need to collect the um, the wing cap, but in a, in another way then. Huh. Okay, the red cap is all the way over here. So 
So that is why. Please don't grab me. Please don't grab me while I'm, wa I'm warping. I wonder what happens if you warp and then you, you manage to get yourself grabbed by, by one of these. that secret path though. I'm going to try and land on one of these pipes. Oh, over there. Okay, is that it? Is that the secret path? Wait, no, it doesn't seem secret enough. Maybe? It's a path I've never been to yet. Yes, let's go. That seems to be it. Ooh, yeah. Let's wait, let's wait until the blues flip over. Yeah, these platforms I couldn't see in the... Um... Yeah, I'm not going for these coins. These platforms I couldn't see until I resetted my emulator anyway, so... This is good that we, we actually did that. Oh, that is so cool. These stages are awesome. Like, I definitely rec wouldn't recommend this to a beginner overall, because it's... It requires you to know, like, a lot of things about Mario 64 and whatnot, and... It's pretty late in the, the Star Event series altogether, but it's... Really, really, really good when you, when you know the ropes. It feels great to play. It looks great, it feels great, it's awesome altogether. Whoa, go there. Like I would I would say to play to play like certain Rhyme hacks like Mario 64 Lands or um Mario 64 Cast Castles to to get like a little bit of an edge on on how to play some games and then well on on how to play Mario 64, and then afterwards, go for this one. I wonder. Okay, I need to know. No, no, this is death. Yeah, if you don't have the... <laughs> if you don't have the cap, you can't do this. Or maybe you can, but you have to be a Kaizo God. I need, to go I need to go back in there because I need to see if there is something interesting or not in that section. Because I have yet to find anything. Oh no, that's what the middle cap is for, is that it, it's for whenever you don't manage to get there at the time. I see. Oh, that was dumb. In any case, I have uh, everything in this section anyway. Yeah, just exit of course. No need to stay in there any longer. So. We have... Uh, Okay, we need the second key, but where can we get the second key? This leads to course 6, so we don't need to do it anymore. This leads to the Vanish Cap stage, which we have done already.
this leads into course 8, which we have done. I think it's, it might be over there. No, this is the wing cap stage. Yeah. Where is the... The course for the key then? Where's key 2? You need a key to open this door. Yes, I know. That's what I'm looking for. Wait, there's something behind this. Oh no, okay, yeah, yeah, that leads... Like, opening this leads to that thing behind. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't need that then. Maybe if I go back behind... I've seen, like, a set of key... of, of doors here. Okay. Course 11, course 12, course T2 requires 50 stars. Let's go. That's it. That's what we were looking for. Um, um, where do we go? I guess we go in this one first for the Bowser stage, right? Well, this stage is popping already. Oh. I wonder what that rainbow block is all down there. Whoa! Hold it right there! What are you doing here? Stars? Yes, we got some here. Don't you dare jump into the zone over the gl right glowing floor. We'll set off an alert and kick you out. However, you can walk on boxes and search that are placed over it. Just never be directly over it. Wait, so I don't want to go into the red zone. Red zone equals bad. So, in order to go zoom here, I need to not... Okay, so for example, I can't jump straight over this. This is not okay. Oh, hello? Where am I? Oh, hello! That's something I was not expecting. Oh, everywhere around this place is dead. Okay, so this is how you get that star from up here, okay? I think I want to drop down here. Then go zoom this way. Haha, <laughs> get Kate out of the stage. Wait. Okay, this way is good. Man, this is... This is scary. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a little gap. Like, even a tiny, tiny, tiny little gap can kick you out of the stage. Oof. That's gonna be rough. It's like one of those janky levels in Mario Maker 2 where you have to not jump at all. Like zero jumps whatsoever. This cannon! Oh, this is a special one. It won't unlock until you beat a boss and get a secret star from it. The one you need to beat? I think you got to kill Bowser for this one. So, backtracking. Yay. I mean, I didn't kill Bowser for this one. I, I didn't kill Bowser at all yet. So, I didn't. I don't have to backtrack. Which is good. Uh, let's see. Okay, so then this leads me here. 
There are some things below. Oh, this is fog. I see. This is poisonous fog. I see that was that was interesting. You need to follow the uh, the direction of the Is this like all fog down there? Cuz I think this is the, like you go right through, yeah. Oh, P switch. P switch. Ah, that was so close. Oh, no, this is just basic fog. That's not even poisonous fog. I was all fine during the entire thing. Usually fog is like poisonous in Mario. That's like the thing. Because of, um, I think it's called the Hazy Maze Cave. I never remember the, uh, the actual names of certain, certain things in English. Now that I think about it, I don't remember them in French either. So... <laughs> yeah, let's not go into the danger zone just yet. I want to check something. Okay, can I please do the wall jumps normally? Okay, there's five points here. And this, this entire place is super scary. Because a single mistake in these red zones can just cost you the entire the entire 80 coins, so... I really don't want to mess up, if at all possible. Okay, where is the... Okay. Straight down. Then straight down. I don't want to go there just yet. This is where the boss is going to be, but... Right now, my goal is to make as many coins as I can. As I possibly can. Before I do this. Right, the chunk here might be a good target here. Yeah. Okay, if the chunk here goes into, into the red zone, that's not going to be good. Okay, let's go. Any more chuckies here? Yes. Perfect. No! I was trying to grab it and then all of a sudden... Whoop! <laughs> Oh, that sucks, man. Yeah, I'm going that way first. I'm going that way first to collect the the, the, the coins. Oh, that hurts my soul. My entire being. I, I was living and then all of a sudden, poof. I'm not anymore. That's what this game has done to me. Yes, I'm going to do it this way. Yeah. All right. 
Yeah, I'm going I'm gonna catch all of the chuckies here before I do anything. Of course. Of course, the coin des gets disintegrated. Okay, come here. Alright, let's go. It's 25. Come here. Let's go. Oh. Even if I lose like one coin here and there, at, l at least I collected four more from here. It's a lot of coinage. Okay. One more coin for you. That was risky. <laughs> that was almost not good. I'm gonna try. Whew. Okay, that paid off. A little bit, but that paid off. Wait, but I need to fall here. Okay, so I don't want to go any further then. There's coins down there, but I don't want to be falling off any further. And here I was thinking that the other stage was really stressful in terms of, of 80 coins. This one is even worse. Like this one is stress incarnate. Like I would have preferred a quicksand over any of that stuff. <laughs> I would feel safe with quicksand compared to this. Uh, is there anything up there? Oh yeah, right. It's that stuff. Okay. Yeah, see? With quicksand, I'm, I'm, I'm fine by just jumping over it. Here you can't even jump over it. You have to just bypass it somehow. And it's scary. Um, here it goes my coins. Okay, that should that should be good. Like let me try and collecting like the coins here. I think we should be we should be in the go for the 80 coins. Let me get rid of that one bob on though. It's going to be a pain otherwise. Yep, there we go. Whoo! 80 coin acquired on Bowser 2. Now we have a lot more to deal with. We've dealt with one of the harder ones, or maybe one of the easier ones. But definitely we have so much more to do. Okay, so this one requires the... Um, the wing cab. There are a couple of coins down there as well, but ah, that's fine.
I couldn't see that thing. This one isn't going to be too hard, but it just needs to take a while getting used to, I guess. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Wasn't that hard. Oh, I like I like how it's it's placed in such a way that it auto warps you out of the of the thing. That is a cool touch, I would say. That's a sweet touch. Oh, okay. That's just in order for you to to get back. Okay, 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 okay. Is the stage so scary? So now I can just go here. Wait, are you for real? You're expecting me to get a shell out of? You're expecting me to get a shell out of that, and to get out without being seen by the lasers? I, I have to. I, I'm sorry, but I didn't know I just turned I, I just turned off the god mode inside the, uh, the the game though. Like I, I'm I, I'm not able to do that. I don't think. Oh. Okay. That was an actual troll. <sighs> Help! I'm being bullied. There we go. Like, imagine going through all of that with a shell. Good lord. Like, I mean, I mean, it's possible. Like, it wouldn't be too hard to do. But, good lord still. Why? I was close. Yeah, I'm waiting here. I can't cross the uh, the blocks. Listen, then. That's one done. So apparently there is another star right over here, but how do you, how would you even reach that one? Like let me let me check. Okay, there's a passage like right over me. Huh. That's straightforward. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Uh the star is mine, I guess. And with this, we're just missing a single star inside here. Panels of the round bullies. What? I didn't see any of that. Panels of the round bullies. Whoa! Well, well uh, there I go. Whee! Oh, I survived. Of all the places it could have sent me. There was one of the better ones. Okay, let me see. Yeah, this opens up a cannon, but the cannon I don't have access to right now. Hmm. This leads to the boss, and okay, this leads to, to star number five. Is there anything higher than this? Doesn't seem like it. Oh no, it's the panels. I see. Oh, let's do this. One. Oh, 
hole. It would be great if I could see my my passage here. Three. Four. And that's five, I guess. Oh wait, no, I need to actually be more than five. What the heck? That's way more than I would have bargained for! Oh. <gasps> the clutch kicks. The clutch kicks are real here. Okay, we're good. <sighs> I'm hanging on to my own life in this stage. It's like, if you die here, if you die in the game, you die for real. The type of thing. Yeah. Let me just replace myself here. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I guess there is only the boss left. Yeah. Oh. And I need to get the secret star, apparently, from Bowser. So I need... I need to get the key from Bowser, and I need to kill Bowser. So apparently there's like two different win conditions for this stage. Which I hope won't be too, too, too bad to do. Okay. That leads me here. That leads me there. I see. I see um, what I'm supposed to do. They suck at it, but we'll see what we can do. Uh, I think I'll take one of a another cap here. And I'll do it this way. This is gonna be hard. Never mind, just did it. Don't press the button. <laughs> I need to go in there. Don't press the button. Okay. You're advancing too fast. Go back. Stop him, you big fat orb. Okay, so I need to kill Bowser in this stage, apparently. Whoa! That was something I didn't see coming. Who there? What are you doing in the schooling chamber? Please go somewhere else. I need to, to watch these badges being produced. Also, I'm kind of frozen up, so I can't really move. Yes, this Bowser guy gave me a key. I don't know why. He isn't my boss. Time Rock is. This kid is mine, I'm gonna keep it. Go away already. Alright, fight for me it. Fight me for it then. It's interesting that it can't, he, he actually can't move. Usually I'm dealing like with... <laughs> With stupid bubbles that are like way too fast for me. This time, nah. He's actually not moving. Oh, it fills! Take this key star. It shall help you on your way. Okay, so I got that, but. Apparently, there's a secret. Key, a secret star. <laughs> you need to kill Bowser. Bowser. Bowser, ba Bowser, ba ba Bowser. So, how do we get to Bowser then? Hmm. Oh. 
Wait. Can you get to... Let's see. Nah, you need... Yeah, 11 and, and 12 requires stars in 11. That's a clever way to... To gate progression in a certain way. That's, that's clever. Alright, though. We have key number two. So we can get higher up and get to course 9 and course 10. Apparently, we, we are going to get a... Another side section and Bowser, Bowser free from this. So I'm kind of interested in seeing... Wait. Wait, actually. Is that... Is that... I, I, I need... I need to check. Give me a moment. I need to... to, 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 to. Yes, it is! It's Celeste logo. I knew it. I knew. I knew this. This. This reminded me of something. It's Celeste logo. So this is going to be a Celeste theme stage. <laughs> okay. That's going to be cool. I mean, I am all for it. I love Celeste. Even though I'm bad at it, I love Celeste. I kind of want to reduce some more Celeste Quest Control as well. I missed it. A lot. I mean, that seems safe. Yeah, that seems... Definitely safe. This is absolutely not safe. Spikes. <laughs> but let me dash through. I wonder if you can just like... Give a moment. No, it doesn't work. Come on. Oh, well, that kind of worked. I wanted to dash through the dream blocks, dang it. That would have been so perfect. Nice, let's go. Okay, this way is bad. Oh, this is 100% okay. This is super slippery slopes. That's good to know. Okay, I see what to do. Oh, that is cute! That is super cute! Come on! It's like the 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 binaculars where you are, where you just take a look at the stage through the uh, through them. Come on, this is this is so cute. Wow. Wait, uh, do I really want to go there? Oh yeah, no, 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 I want to go below. Oh, that was dumb. Oh, I love this so much. Hey boy. Ah, dang it. Evoi! This is mesmerizing. Like, 
like playing on the, playing Mario 64 on a 2D stage that re that resembles like Celeste. Ah, oh, that's that's rough though. Like this stage is going to be hard. Oh, let's go. Okay. Okay. And slowly do this. Go over onto this side. Do that. Slide. Go on to this. Wait, where do I go? Oh, I see. <laughs> I love this so much. Let's do a sniper. Yay. And we got <laughs> We got the strawberry. Let's go. Oh wow. I I am in love with this. I can't I can't even begin to imagine how how great it would be to just speedrun this whole section. Like something something funny is that a lot of of Mario 64 creators are actually just speedrunning Mario Vanilla Mario and that's it. Like they're they're doing the, the 16 16 star run and that's it. Never trying out like these rum hacks. When you have like things insane stuff like that. Okay, I see what to do. Alright. There you go. There's my straw. And that's why I find it like super sad overall because some of these some of these creations are like you can feel the love in them. You can feel like how much how much care has been put into into every every single one of them and seeing them being like left rotting aside is yeah and I'm not even the one that created these things, mind you. If I'm the one that's that's being sad because uh, because the Ramax haven't been played, imagine the, how the creators must feel like. Eh? But yeah, these kinds of stages are exactly why I'm playing R Master C4 Rum Hacks. Because what the heck is this? This is awesome! Uh, I think I need to do this. Ooh, that's, that one's gonna be kind of rough to do. <laughs> that's not exactly what I hope to do. But that's fine, I guess. Okay, star is over on that side. Whee! Oh, wow. But yeah, this is something I want to touch about a little bit in my future Janky Talkies. Is how a lot of content creators on Twitch kind of complain that they are not growing altogether as creators and whatnot. But they keep doing the same thing. 
They keep playing the same games. They keep playing this. The actually playing the same games is not that bad. Like you can play the same games if you want, but if you don't have the uh, the concept behind it to get people interested in what you're doing, there's literally no point in streaming because there's other people that there's other people that do the thing you're currently doing and. They are doing it. They're, they're doing it like way better than you would ever do, because first you don't have experience, and second you don't have the um, the audience. So you have no community, you have no experience, you have no quality on your content. Why would people watch? So rather rather than going for something that other people do all the time. Just do something that people don't do. Innovate, man. Like, if you browse the, the Mario 64 category, for example, right now on Twitch, you're going to find, like, 95% of these are going to be speedruns. Not even kidding. 95%. Unless I happen to be the only the only stream living on, on, on Mario 64, but I don't think so. Mario 64 is a well played game. Okay, can you can you please stop for a moment? Are you mm -hmm. There we go. Get out of here. That one is troll. That one in me here. Oof. I'm almost at 80 coins here. I should collect as much as I can. Ah, dang it. Okay, one. I see what's going on. Ooh, uh... While I do see what's going on... Yeah, I'm taking damage. Definitely taking damage on that one. Wait, what? Wait, no! Yeah, I can't go any higher than this, so... I have to do a triple here. Then that brings me here. Okay, I'll do it this way. Let's go. Okay. Woo! Such a tough but fun stage. But yeah, this is why a lot of content creators don't grow on Twitch whatsoever because First, they keep doing the, the same games they, they usually do, and that others do as well. Uh, second, they do games that... Um, like, they do, they do overpopulated games. Oh, no, I didn't want to enter this. Dang it. They do, they do games like, that people just play all the time on Twitch, like Fortnite, LOL, Minecraft. Those kinds of games that are like super played all the time and that's while they do deserve the love in some cases, like Minecraft is a great game overall. I would argue that if you're playing alone on a mod on, on a mod pack that everybody has played at least once, I mean 
At one point, you have to realize you're not creating much content. You're not creating much value. Unless you're, you're, you're doing something, for example, a stupid challenge. A challenge that's like, oh yeah, can I do this without ever using X or Y block? Like, can I... Can I... Can I... <laughs> okay, here's a fun... A fun a, a, a fun stupid challenge to do. Can I beat Minecra Minecraft without landing... Without walking on a single piece of dirt? That would be a fun thing to do because... You would have to re-roll first to not land on... On dirt to begin with. You have to... You have to start on stone or water. Ouch. And then you would have to 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 make your way to to trees and whatnot without being on dirt. That that would be that would be interesting an interesting concept. Every time you have to execute the exploration, you have to do it in a certain way. Like those kinds of of challenges can change the way you play the game, and that makes it interesting overall. I hate this so much. Yeah, this 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 here is really rough. I'll try to not take damage here. Okay, it's doable. 100% doable. Let's go! Without taking damage. Guys, sleep, Joe, no problem. I'm going to be to be done soon anyway. Like um, it's going to take like 40 minutes at most, and then I'll go poof. Okay, so I need two, three, and that's it. The rest is done. Wait. Oh, there is no box in there. That is cool. I actually don't like the the, the yellow boxes because I've yet to encounter the. The yellow switch. I thought there would be like one switch to activate inside the level and then to find afterwards in the... And then you need to find the box afterwards, but no. It's different boxes for different stages. Which is a bit of a shame, to be honest. But I love this so, so, so much. <laughs> Double kill! I love this stage so much. You have no idea. But yeah, I'm definitely no, no big streamer myself, so... Some of these... Some of the things I say, I actually try to apply myself. Like, trying to innovate on how I play games, how I do my things, rather than just playing games just for the sake of playing games. Because a lot of people are already tired of just seeing games. This is why just chatting is, like, one of the bigger categories altogether, because people want to watch... People want to watch, like, interesting personalities and to share some moments with, with one another. And games sometimes are not, are not necessarily like the best way to do so. This is why I want to change the ways that you play games. I want to, to understand and and create like good ways to to entertain but still at the same time be able to have fun playing the games you love. And this is what crowd control is all about. Yeah. 
And this is this is something I really wish it was on YouTube because crowd control being on Twitch is one of the strongest extensions and one of the best things that Twitch ever has for itself. And if YouTube can find a way to to integrate crowd control into into itself i think youtube is going to just blow up where is the first and second one i'm still struggling finding the uh oh ro ro yeah, that's not the one I want. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. It's really hard. It's going to be really hard to do. Ah, that's still not nah, that's not good at all. Jeebus. These some of these jumps are, are really really rough. But then again, <laughs> it's a Celeste level. What else did I expect? <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna burn myself here. I need to know. Uh Yeah, but so there's there's no There's no boxes. Okay, let's try climbing as much as we can. Let's see if we can find anything important by just climbing. Oh, there we go. There's one. I think we already have one. So... Let's just burn our butts all the way up. Come on, please. There we go. Fun ways to use bumpers. Okay, now that is really fun. I am not gonna lie, this is awesome. This was easily one of the better, the better like walking sections I've ever played, and I've played quite a few, quite a few rum hacks. That was awesome. <laughs> ah, close. Don't you dare shoot at me! Okay, unfortunately, I will have to go the long way. Whoa! Okay, that's not what I expected to go, but that's fine. Oh, come on! I'm trying to jump there, but for some reason it just eats my, my input. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure as to what I'm going to have to deal with afterwards, so I want to keep originating my... 
Oh wait, no, it's that's it. The star is right there. At least it should be? No, it's not. Okay. Oh, that's it. That's the one. There we go. Hello there, Star. So with that, that should be this entire stage completed. But that is... That is like... So good. The entirety of this stage was beautiful to me. I think I could just exit the course and get and get straight to Bowser 3. Or course 9 and course 10? Oh yeah, th there we go. Course 9 and course 10. So course 9 needs... Uh, 60 stars. So I think we should be able to complete this one first and then we'll see what to do. For some reason, I'm not too keen on that stage. <laughs> Must be the floating city kind of thing, but... Yeah... <laughs> I'm kinda scared. Oh, hello there, bob -omb. Goodbye, bob -omb. Okay, this is... Not anything I can climb on. Okay, so far, so good. It's, it's not that bad to... to zoom around in, so... You know what? I kind of want to see what's up here beforehand. Okay. couple of coins here and there. I wonder if there's a Haiti coin or not. Yes, there is. So I will have to do it. As much as I hate it, I will have to do it. Oh no! Oh no! See those suns? Notice how some are off compared to most others you can see? Those you can stand on. There are three types of these fake suns. Um. <laughs> um. Eh. Okay, I think I can see one. Then from here, where do I go? Oh, I think I, I can see another one. So... Okay, how I noticed the first one is like the center. The center is a little bit different than the others. And this one, the particles around it were different than the others. That was, that was pretty cool. Uh, how do I get out of here, though? Oh, I can just do this. Ooh. There we go. I'm out of this place. So I guess my only choice left is to go over here. Which 
Mas has plenty of coins. I'm not. I'm not dissatisfied. Oh, are you kidding me? Come on. Lucky two. Lucky two means coins. Coins mean stars. Stars mean good. Good means good? <laughs> That seems like a little bit of a pain in the half, but at the same time, doesn't seem that bad. There would be a box all the way over here and I missed it. I think I can just wall jump it. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Trying to trap me like that. Come on, man. You're worth better than this. Oh, wait, there's a passage here. And this entire place is a little bit scary because I don't know whether I'm going to. To go through one of these platforms or not. Oh, hey. Hello. Hello. Give me coins. Oh, that was five coins. No! Well, I lost almost all of that. That is, that is a bit sad. Like Luigi does uh, the um, the whoa! I'm I'm expecting the Yahoo instead, but I don't hear the Yahoo, so I'm like, oh no, I failed my I failed my jump, I failed my jump, I'm dead. But no, it just does the the whoa instead. It scares me so much. Only 13 coins left and I have my my thing and of course I'm going to have like one of the most stupid challenges to do ever Oh, and of course there's like you up there now Come on, come here Okay I'll take it. <laughs> okay, I saw coins on the other side. It's a shame that I only have like one coin left from actually getting the star okay I think I need to shoot through this thing and get the star this way right this has to be it I'm missing a single coin, by the way. Just a single coin. One flippin' coin. <gasps> I see them! My saviors! Let's go! No more stress! No more stress! 
Okay, then. I see some interesting things down here. Oh. That is... The location of the yellow box. Okay, okay, okay. So, where to next? Because now that we have completed this thing, we can complete the rest as well. Without too much of a problem overall. So what's the, the things here? So wall jump across the towers. Across the towers? Oh, that might be a di that might be this one. What the? Where'd you come from? Just attacking me out of nowhere. Oh, this is risky, this is risky, this is risky. Okay, there we go. <laughs> On. I was, I was, I was good. I think I had the good rhythm here. I was the rhythmy boy. But then all of a sudden I just bumped and then went poof. Hmm. Wonder what happened there. Oh, there we go. That's easy. Ah, I see. Yeah, I have to do it well. Come on. Okay. Then is that it? I like how the uh, the 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 moon ones make it. Make it seem like it's going to be easier afterwards, but... Okay, where's my goal? Oh, I see. Okay, so it's going to be easier if, if I make it do this way. There we go. That wasn't too bad. It's it's a bit tighter than you might expect it to be because the, uh, the wall jumps on... <laughs> On Mars 64 are super finicky, but wasn't that bad either. Ooh, almost died. Oh, of course, there's a P switch down there. Um, what am I missing? Star of the Skies, Bouncing Heart, Panels of the Fort. Star of the Skies? Is that it? How would I reach that? Uh, maybe through here, going through there. That's going to be one heck of a ride. Yeah, that's going to be one heck of a ride. As I don't think I'll have to go through here, right? That was close. Okay, so, yeah, I I have to go this way in order to get back to this place. That's for sure. Then I need to go over here to get back to the to the one disguise, right? No, that's not the same. This one leads to 5 and 6. I have neither of them, so that, that is perfect for me, but I've yet to encounter 4. Yeah. 
Oh, what? Oh. I see how this is going to go. That is interesting. I like the concept. Yeah, let's go. That was a great one. Really fun to go through. Okay, so question. What's behind you? Oh, there's something behind. What is this all about? It's like a small hidden passage behind. Oh no, that just leads to this place. I see. Yes, sir. I think it would be better to, to go through the, the highest one first and then... And then just fly to the other ones afterwards. It's much easier this way. Take the last panel after getting the wing cap. Can never be too safe, you know. The focus time is definitely real here. There we go. And then just walk away to get to our prize. Okay, that's I see how it is. Man, these challenges are really fun overall. Like they, they flow well. Like you know what to do. You don't you don't get lost into anything or, or some some random some random stuff on the side. It's it feels good to to do this. Double kill. Okay, but what do I do on this place? I'm just missing the Star of the Skies. Okay, I see some coins in the distance, but I don't see stars. I see some more stuff going up there. But I don't think I can even reach that. Yeah, I don't think I can even reach that given what I have. Maybe this is only through the moon phase. Or you have to shoot to it. Which would be absolutely horrible and I really do not want to do that, but... Hmm. Alright, let's try finding the... Uh, let's try finding the... the four... The fourth star. Oh, yeah, there we go. So apparently it's right here. How would I even get there then? What? Fourth star is here apparently.
Oh, I see. Switch shenanigannery is what is happening. I see. That explains a lot of things. That explains a ton of things and how dumb I am. Because I do triple jumps instead of just jumping normally. Hmm. <laughs> So now I have to, to get back to where I was before, and I do not remember where it was. I think it's right over here. First, let me get rid of Lakitus, because Lakitus are evil. No, it's not here. Where was I? No! Ah, the slight, the slight tilt flipped me over. That's fine. I didn't want to be here anyway. So where was that one? Oh, it was over here. Okay. Yeah, the, the stage that I want to be on is right over me. Why do I keep doing triple jumps when I know it's not good? Just do doubles, that's more than good enough! <laughs> Wanted to do a long jump, I mispressed. But at least we know we know how to get there fast, so that's fine. Oh, that's interesting. Mario just decided to butt slide for a moment. Okay, there we go. That's much easier this way. There we go. So collect the cap, collect the cap, and then let's do this. Okay, I have to do it this way. I hate these blocks with a passion, but don't have that much of a choice. <laughs> of course. Of course there's no there's no blocks above this one. the star and with this uh, this section is done at least i hope so yes last one is yellow box do i still have enough time to to do the last one yeah i think so so we can get out the stage and we'll do close 10 and then afterwards i'll just call it today Interesting. It's the same place but in darker tones. Evoy. Darker tones, different enemies, and of course different platforming. I like the concept of Sun and Moon's stages for for Mario 64. Definitely a great concept overall that is being used nowadays. Oh, 
Oh, come on! And there goes my coins. The entire the entire stages are flipped around. I recognize this place. Yeah, the entire stages are flipped around. That is cool. This is actually better than, than I thought it would be. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted to press. Okay, where does this lead me to? Oh, huh, over there. Cool beans. I'll take it. Oh, you need to be foyast. Because you need to also get to that point with... Oh, that's going to be tough. Can I get... Can I even get back there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is why this platform is here. Ah, oh, that is cool. Alright, let's do this. There we go. That was easy. Oh, and there's plenty of coins here. Nice. Gib. Coins. Gib. Coins. Alright, I'm halfway for 80 coins. Hey, if this continues, I'll be like halfway in for for this game. I didn't think I would I would go this fast collecting all of the stars I, I've done. Because usually when I go into some of our some of the games, like it's like 70 stars overall. But this time I collected like 100. And I'm so good. Okay. So I might, I might actually change one of the uh, one of the Mars sixty four days into something else. Well, actually, the one of the the star events six point twenty five into something else. Because I'm going to be, if I'm going to be finishing this this early, the schedule won't hold up. <laughs> I really do not want to fall. Please. Thank you. Okay. I don't mind taking a little bit of damage here. All I want is not die. <sighs> there we go. Oh, that scared me for a moment because I really thought I was going to go downhill. Get out of here. I need 10 coins. Just 10 coins. Oh, that's perfect. You're beautiful. I love you. Wait, 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 wait. 
Oh, good lord. I really thought for some reason that I will not be able to get that blue coin switch. Like, yeah, you find the blue coin switch and then all of a sudden you don't see any coins. Oh. <laughs> it's kind of problematic when, when it happens. All right, then. We have accomplished the 80 coins. So... Okay, this is just a lava pit of some sort. So now time to try and locate all of the... Well, the rest of the sauce. We have five to, to, to locate. Yeah, five to locate. Let's start with one. Uh, okay, there's one over there. Let's try let's try doing the stars we can see. If we can see them, we can do them. Wait, no! That's well not where I wanted to go, but it's fine. I guess I'm doing four. Fly guys, man. Fly guys, man. Yeah, those are fly guys in disguise. That I despise. Because too much spice. Oh, hey, you can just go in now. is all about is that just to let you go above oh are you flipping kidding me you're supposed to go full speed ahead straight there with a single box wow wow that is quite the task you are asking us Sophia Yeah, that's going to be tough. <laughs> that's not going to be good enough. Oh, I am damn dead. Wow, this is going to be a tough one. Because you need you need to keep the uh, the invisible cap all the way up until the end. So this is going to be ultra hard. I actually wasn't that bad. Never mind. <laughs> Forget that said anything. Also, uh, floating trees, I guess. What is this, Minecraft? Floating trees. <laughs> Disgusting. It's like it's like playing Marmika 2 or, or Minecraft all over again. Though I say this, I, I still remember one of my friends, uh, Dr. Mio, who... Uh, <laughs> he kept, like, rambling. Like, please, Mackie, do not leave any trees. Any trees, like, floating. I'm like, herder, I'm just mining my things. <laughs> he was like, please, Mackie. <laughs> and I'm like, what? 
I'm just mining my own fangs. Wait, what is this all about? Okay, there you go. Of course, over time, I managed, I managed to... To deal with the, the urge to leave trees floating. Which I've replaced with a much better and more self satisfying ending to it. Destroy all the trees. Okay. Yeesh. This is hard. Well, actually, no, this isn't that bad. Like, the platforms could be tighter, the, uh... Oh, actually, that one is going to be hard. This is triple. This has to be a triple. Ah, not as tight as I thought it would be. Never mind. I thought this would be a triple into, into a wall kick. But just a triple is enough. Okay, I have no clue as to where I am right now. Okay, there we go. So then... I tried. Surviving on this when you have your butt on fire is almost impossible. <laughs> come on, come on! I bumped, I bumped twice onto the arch. Come on, man. Hmm. Okay, we have this part here we've done already, so this here instead. Wait, so where does that warp go? Five? I have yet to do five, so... Wait. What am I supposed to do? Oh. Go right through because there is no... I see. And then I do the wall kicks through here. It's not exactly the place where I wanted to head to. There we go. Then do this. Go through here. Oh, I see. This is why the platforms are made this way. Because otherwise it would be impossible to do. I see. That makes sense. That makes a whole heck of a lot of sense. At least I don't have to do the, the stupid wall jumps. I can just go onto the side here and just walk. But I can also like go back there and collect and actually collect the star which I came here for. I already collected the 80 coins, so no need to do anything else. I can warp through. I'm back. Unfortunately, I have nothing else to do in this section, so I have to hop off this place. And this here has nothing else to do either, so we've done everything we could on the top of the section here. Now, what to do now? I don't think I can just reach this, right? No, I can. With a little bit of skill, you can definitely do that. So... I think my goal is the, the that switch still. Just look at me, don't shoot anything. That's fine. Everything is okay.
Are you kidding me? The moment I'm not looking, they're like, yes. I'm a comic for you. Alright. Still, we're good. <laughs> Please don't do that to me. Please don't do that to me. Okay. Don't think I can do anything from here. Like, I should drop down and do the thing. But I kind of want to try still to, to do a triple here. Should be able to do this. Yeah, there you go. So now we should be good on that front. Should be able to collect that one star. Yeah, they prepared they prepared the, the terrain well on that one because if you didn't activate the uh, the switch and you still cheesed it through through jumping. They would still be prepared for it. Okay. Man, these jumps are scary. Okay. This is not good. I need to go higher. This is not the star. This is this is a troll. Yep, there you go. Let's go. I'm still liking the first star though. So we'll have to find that one. One last star in this place. But I've yet to find like a way to... To star number one. I found a place for all of the other stars, but not star one. Maybe it's all the way there. <gasps> that was close. Okay. This year is star two. Yeah, this way over here is star 2, and I've not seen any other places to get to here from, from here, so yeah. That place is useless. Have I been down there? Yes. Yes, I have. I'm really struggling to find the place to be for star 1. Quicksand puzzle. Oh, that might be it. That actually, that might be it. Right there. Yeah, there it is. Number one. Okay, so. Are you scared? It's just some quicksand. Just follow the path on the right and you'll be fine. Yes, the green one. Hmm, that's interesting. This path. Uh-oh. 
Okay, so how many? Two. Right? It's two, right? Okay. That was, that was almost good. Ah, I don't remember where what I did to get to that place. That place is so flipping far away. Where is it? That place is so, 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 so far away. It's unreal. Not that place. Should be over here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try something. Hey! Cheesing them sections with the power of sliding. But slides are OP. Okay, so... Bap, 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 Okay, there we go. That one got me good. Because I didn't see, I didn't see there was one missing on TV. Right in, right in front of me, so I was like, yeah, I'm just going to do this. It's all fine. It's all good. Nope. This is definitely not good. Also, I like how the, uh, the box is right here. Like, the box for the star is right over here. Okay, let's see. What's this sign for? Can I please read the sign? Try not to break a box while grabbing a star. Why? You don't want to know, buddy. To break a box while grabbing a star. Hmm. Now that actually makes me curious. I actually want to know now. What happens if that happens? Uh, I'm in quite the fine pickle here. Can you even get out of this place if you if you mess up? I don't think so. Yeah, if you if you just fall down this thing, you're dead. But yeah, that's going to be it for our, for today, I think. That was a wonderful thing. So, next stream will be tomorrow. Tomorrow will be some more of this. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to be finishing this, like, tomorrow or not. I've been, like, cruising for this. Uh, I've been finishing, like, half of the, uh, of the game. So, there is a chance that I might, like, just do the, the, the rest of the... Of the game tomorrow so there's a chance that yeah so i was i was about to do like the sixth the sixth the seventh and the ninth i was going to do to do star revenge 6.25 uh so there's a chance that on the ninth i'm going to be doing something else instead what are we going to do who knows but that's that's definitely that might definitely have to do to, to, to change that's interesting well, that I went through the, through this that fast. That's that might that might be also because I'm having so much fun with this. So yeah. But yeah, so uh I will leave you for today. Thank you all so much for being the wonderful people you are. Thank you so much for the followers, for the subs, and for 
just being the wonderful people you are. So, let's try and fee see and, and fee. No, no, we, let, let's not try and fee. Uh, let's try and see if I can ride into anybody here. Um, I guess I'll send you all off to, to Potion for now. He's playing some Poke some Pokemon right now. Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. So yeah. Let's see. He's doing he's doing it apparently via like it might be a first first playthrough. Who knows? Larry is a live uh, potion. But yeah, so tomorrow will be more of this wonderful RAM hack and. On Thursday, if I finish this game, I'll do something. I don't know. <laughs> I'll do something. I'll, I'll do a stream on Thursday for sure. It's not going to be a cancel stream or anything. So we'll see what to do on that time. But for now, thank you all so much for being here. And take care of yourselves. See ya. Poof.